morning if you're watching the replay um obviously this is no longer live so we are going to start sewing the tulia backpack let me just put you up on my ipad I was just checking my view and bringing it up so I can read the comments. So I'm going to change my needle really quick. Can you let me know if you can hear me, please? Hi, Stacy. My dog thinks I'm talking on the phone. Um, I thought it would be so good and like pre-sew a pocket or two, but of course I wasn't. <laughs> so this might be a little long, but it's fine. Yes, you can hear me. Hi, Laura. Good afternoon. Hi. So for those that haven't been here before, I sew on a Juki 1181N. Um, it's classified as a domestic or as an industrial machine. I'm using size 19 needles. So I'm just putting a fresh needle in. So this pattern is from Sarah Merriam. Um, she's from Germany, so a lot of the measurements are in centimeters, but I'm going to convert it for you into inches. Hopefully, I can remember to say both the centimeters and the inches so that more people than just those of us who use the inches can watch. I'm just oiling this little guy. Okay, so we're going to go over all the pieces. Oh, let me finish putting this in here. So this bag is done with binding, so if you're not comfortable with binding, I would suggest just giving it a try. You can small start on a smaller project just to see if you like it. Um, a lot of pattern designers are using it. It's really nice. I like it. Let's see what else I have to say. Um, so if you join the Patreon in the link, you can have access to this pattern and all her past patterns. She comes out with a new one every month. Um, and they have videos. She has videos for how to do it rather than written instructions that are super detailed. Although this month is the first month I've seen more detailed instructions, which is really nice. Emily has a newfound love for binding. That's great. I love to hear that. So she recommends this pattern for not a beginner sewist. I'll let you know 
what I think at the end of this video. I'm not sure yet. So, there are my drinks out of the way. Of course, I have three drinks. Coffee, an energy drink, and a water. Okay. So there's only one change I'm making to this pattern. She recommends using like a waterproof canvas or some kind of like outdoor fabric for the outside and she does woven on the inside. I, um, this might be a really bad idea I have, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to use, um, Butta from Weft and Warp. This is Distressed. I forget the color. It's like a lilac or something. That's going to be my exterior. My interior is going to be waterproof canvas from Fabric Therapy. She has this, um, she did, Nancy did just have this on pre-order. I'm not sure, but she does carry, um, she has a lot of in stock waterproof canvas prints right now. So I actually had a dilemma and I was gonna, I had this purple wisteria cut out from, um, Mormino, which I really love, but I'm thinking for my first go around, don't go crazy. Okay. Cause it's a little bit thicker and it doesn't have as much, uh, it doesn't move as easy as butter. And so since she told me not to do crazy heavy stuff. I'm just going to wait on this and save it for another bag. So I did switch. We're going to use foam for our interfacing. I'm going to use Thera Fuse Foam. And this stuff is really nice. You'll see. We'll put some on. So I'm going to go over the pieces. You're going to have your front pocket lining and exterior. You're going to have your side pockets times two linings and exteriors. You have two side exteriors and two side interiors. These are where the pockets get sewn on. We have two strap connectors for the back. We have two main panels, exterior. And here's our interior ones. Also using the pattern piece, you fold down a bit and you cut for a slip pocket. So I did two interiors for that and that'll go right on top. I tried to fussy cut it, so we'll see how that works out. Then you're gonna need your bottom, your base, and I put Decoville heavy on this piece only. And um, a lining. Now she uses Decaville Light. It looks like something equivalent to Decaville Light um, for her interfacing. I'm gonna do foam just cause I like foam lately. I'm on a big foam kick. All right, let's see. We have our two zipper panels with the linings. And then this is the, let's see. The front pocket is going to have a zipper gusset and a bottom gusset. And for the side pockets, we have bottom gussets and top gussets, you know, for the zipper. So here's my interfacing. I have two pieces of the, the Therapuse foam and Using a pattern piece, I just printed out a second piece of this and cut along the um, line she's provided so that it stays out of my seam allowance. I did the same for the side pockets, the two side pieces, and the front pocket piece. I didn't fuse any of these yet because I wanted to show you. I would wait to fuse the side panels because you're going to want to attach your pocket first and then put this interfacing on before you based on your lining. So that's that. Same goes for the main panels why I didn't attach my interfacing. Now for the hardware. Good morning Kayla. I'm switching up the straps a little bit. I'm going to do it more, um, the video she has wasn't too clear how she does the straps. She kind of just says do the straps, which makes sense because it is a, she does not recommend this for beginners. So 
we're gonna do our straps kind of well you'll see so anyways you're gonna need four pieces of 18 inch webbing 18 inches is equivalent to like almost I would say 46 centimeters okay we have four pieces of 46 centimeters for 18 inches these are going to be the top of the straps the bottom of the straps now on the two top pieces the top strap pieces i am going to put these little strap ends um this is using purple listeria from lauren over at Marino. I used my one inch round strap camo tool um, to cut this out, but I just love the finish this puts on straps. So you can see that's how it'll look. And then I'll put it around the ring and it'll just make it look a little more finished instead of just riveting it with a raw edge. So I cut myself two of these and I'm just gonna use it for the top of the strap because on the bottom of the strap we'll be folding everything under and you won't see the raw edge but you could see the raw edge on the top so that's why I did that and then for the handles let me put this I'm gonna forget where I am for the handles these are 15 and 3 quarters so we're gonna end up folding down folding together the center it'll be kind of like one of these kind of handles you know so two 15 and three quarters. For, you're gonna need some binding for sure. And this is from Weft and Warp, it's the sticky stuff, so that um, it should be pretty easy. You are going to need, where did my other zipper go? Here it is. Okay, you're gonna need your two side pocket zippers. I cut these at nine inches, a little bit more, just for a little wiggle room. So two nine inch zippers. Our front pocket zipper is going to be 11 and three quarters. And our main compartment zipper is going to be 16 and a half. Okay, and you'll need five corresponding zipper pulls because you have a double pull on the main closure and then singles on the other three pockets. I also made myself a tassel. I'm using my tassel template from Jolili Creations. I just thought it'd be fun to hang off the zipper on the top. I have a badge backing. I use my template again from Carolina Little Stitches and my nameplate thing. I'm gonna put that on the front in between the handles. I got this cute um, little woven label. It says self-care instructions. It has sleep, cake, coffee, sun, and sewing machine. I'm gonna sew this on my slip pocket on the inside. I thought this was so cute. Also, Kayla has these at Carolina Little Stitches. I was gonna do purse feet, but I don't think I'm gonna be that extra. I'm pretty extra, but I'm not gonna be that extra. You need two slide, what are these called? Slide adjusters? Oh, hi. Terry was liking to know, do you have a picture of the pattern? Of course. Let me grab it. One second. It's a backpack and it has 3D pockets. Oh, these are not. Let me pull up her. Her drop box. One second, I'm sorry. Okay, here you go. Let's see if you can see this. So it's super cute. So this is the front, the two side pockets, you got handles. I don't see the back on here, but you'll see the back when we do it. So the medium version is what I'm making today, and that's 11 by 11 and a half is what the final dimensions are. 11 by 11 by 5, I'm sorry. 11 
by 11 by 5 inches. Alright, back to what I was doing. Okay, these are slide adjusters, right? I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Two slide adjusters, and then we're going to do two rectangle rings. So that's what we'll need to do our straps on the back. This is different than her um, pattern, but that's what we're going to do. So the last thing is the strap. I'm going to call it a strap anchor. It is... buckles slash slides yeah you're welcome Terry good morning Beth okay so this is her strap anchor piece you basically cut it out of Duckaville heavy with her pattern piece and you leave about you know a little less than an inch maybe like half an inch around and then I just used a glue stick and folded over all these edges. These should be pretty dry by now. The corners aren't. I just left one corner to show you how. So you're gonna fold over all the straight edges first, okay? And then we'll go ahead and do the corner. So I'm gonna show you how I do that, just so you know, but this is something you'll have to prep. Um, and it'll basically cover up over all of your straps and such. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this piece just so we're on letting it dry. I'm going to tilt you down just a little bit here. Okay, so what you're going to want to do on these corners is we're going to cut little triangles. And you're going to want to get about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of your Duckaville heavy okay this just helps it not get too bunched up right there you don't want to cut too close because then you'll see your cut mark once we fold this over okay so get your glue stick and just kind of glob it on there okay Real technical term here. And then start from the curve in the middle and then just push it. Now I did learn with this glue, if you were using a fabric, you could just iron after you stick it down and it should super stick, but we're using vinyl, so that's not gonna work today. So you just kind of are gonna fold it around and then clip it. Because we cut those little triangles, it should hold well. Not it should, it will. It'll fold nicely. Just kind of smush it. And then we're going to set that aside and let it dry. But you can see, let's see, what corner did we do first? Probably this one. because we're going to end up putting this down and then top stitching it over everything. So it looks nice. It's something different. You don't see too much. I've only done one other pattern with something like this from the Bag Making Academy. So it's a good skill to have, especially if you use leather or something. I, I don't, but look at, look at me using this application now. Okay. I'm going to get some more clips because I used all my clips here and I use my clips a lot. So set that aside. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prep my strap ends. So just grab two of your backpack straps. She does write this for one and a half inch webbing as well um, with the one and a half inch webbing connectors for the bottom of the straps too. So that was really nice to see. Okay. 
So you're gonna need your two strap ends. And you can omit the strap ends if that's not what you're wanting to do. It's what I'm wanting to do. So what I like to do is I, um, singed all the edges so that I have no fluffies because I do not like when there's fluffies and I'm going to put two, stri two strips of double stick tape and then just take an end and fold it over try to make it as even as possible. You could be really smart and use the middle divider line on the tool as well, but I already put it away, so that's not an option today. Although I do have to get it out again anyways to get the rivet hole. So let me get the tool. I'm going to mark where I'm going to. Let me get my sharpie. All right, gonna fold this end. Mm, actually, I think I'm gonna top stitch first. So I'm going to top stitch around this entire way, just for looks, honestly. My stitch length is gonna be four and a half. And let me zoom you in. to just start down the straight edge and usually I just hand crank to be honest with you. This is that four and a half stitch length that I didn't say that I think I did though. this tool so much it's not even funny <laughs> use it for everything you could also just do like a one inch by one inch piece of vinyl and fold it over and top stitch Just pulling the thread tails to one side, and I'm going to tie them off and heat them up. Okay. 
morning Karen yes I am up early my husband had to work early today so I thought oh I'll get up and sew this I wanted to get it done I'm prepping for a craft fair so I thought I'll get up get it done get it sewn up so I'm just going to repeat with the other one kind of sticky from that glue. I'm kind of nervous about doing these dirty pockets, but I'm sure it'll be fine. If not, worst case scenario, I know my daughter will take this back with. <laughs> I think it should be good though. Instructions, I watched the video and took notes. It, it seemed pretty straightforward. It didn't seem too hard. I think it's what maybe we might label as intermediate here in the U.S. So. Um, and the pockets, once you do one, I mean, there's just two others the same, you know. There's really not much to it. You could add a lot to it, though, on the interior panels. Sometimes it stinks having bigger fingers. Come on. You've never heard of this pattern. Yeah, her name is Sarah Merriam. She actually has a large following on Instagram. And her patterns are so cute. All her bags she makes are amazing. She makes really cool reels videos. And, um... She just started offering a few months ago Patreon, where she releases a new pattern every month. And so this month's pattern is this backpack. And I haven't seen anything quite like it. That doesn't mean anything, because I don't see everything. But, um, I liked it. Okay, thread over your bar. Rectangle ring. And I'm just going to hold it in place and put a pen through. The rivet hole I already did, so I can go ahead and punch that hole. Yeah, you've seen her Instagram? Good morning, Lorraine. Yeah, we're up early. We'll be here for a while if you need to go back to sleep. <laughs> I will save this on my um, feed once I am finished. I'm still in my pajamas myself. So we're just going to rivet this on. And this will be our top straps. The ones that actually come out of the, uh, you know, out and over that go over your bag. Over your back, over your shoulders. You know what I'm saying. I meant to lost the words. I'm just getting some rivets. Also, when uh, if you watch her video on her Patreon, she she doesn't seem to use rivets that I saw. I don't know if rivets are a thing there. Okay. I also like this because then I don't have to double fold my webbing. This webbing is for fabric therapy, is it not so cute? Hi, 
decided to clean this the other day. Your stitching on those gumdrops looks amazing. Thank you. I just realized you couldn't see me putting my rivets on. So the side that I heat singed the thread, that's what I'm folding over. They too look like gumdrops. Now I can't unsee it. I love it. There we go. We're gonna just go rivet these on real quick. My rivet's right there, so. All right, so we prepped our back. We prepped our top of our, oh yeah, that's freaking cute. Look at that. Love that. So these are our top drops, that's done. Let me think what else. We're not doing purse feet. We can do our... I think that's all we're going to do right now for prep. We're going to start on the pattern because I'm excited. So, I'm going to get a zipper for a side pocket. Now, in this way, she, she just uses her... Um, it would be like a cotton canvas, I think, or a thinner waterproof canvas equivalent. And of course I did vinyl, so I might, I might regret this. I have no freaking clue. But I don't think I will. I hope not. Here's my other piece. And a zipper pull. I like when you make the strap ends cover. Well, thanks. That, you know, it's not my idea. It, um, it's Kayla's over at Carolina Little Stitches. That was her idea. She sells a little template tool for that. But it, I just like it. It's cute to me. Okay. So, pieces we have are a side pocket liner and exterior. You're interfacing if you're using some our top zipper for the um, side pocket and the bottom gusset, okay? Top zipper gusset. So insert your zipper pull. We should probably do these two at the same time because you have to install the zippers opposite ways. She has both zippers closed at the front and you pull to the back to un unzip it. So let's do both at once so that we can make sure we get it right. So you're going to have one, each zipper going opposite ways for the pull to close. Oh yes, the, it's, the webbing's from Fabric Therapy. Thank you so much. Yeah, they have so they have so many cute stripes. I'm like into the stripes. You want stripes? She's got you. Plus all the character ones. I hope she ordered some Haunted Mansion stuff for the retail she's doing. Okay, so you're essentially gonna do one zipper closing each way. Okay. Does Kayla have one and a half inch strap in tools? I am 95% sure she does. I don't have them, but if she doesn't have those, she can make those in a jiff. I've never seen or known anybody that could make SVGs like she does. She'd be like, oh no, I just, I just made the SVG in like two seconds. Her skills are mad. Mad good. Okay, so we have a pull going each way. Now, the way, let me just make sure, verify I have the right piece, because I didn't, I wasn't smart and I didn't. Side pocket gusset zipper. Yep, I did it right, okay. Now this is how she does it 
on the video. I'm just going to move my zippers up so because I know they're like facing the right way. We're going to find the center of this so it's two inches wide. So we'll go an inch and draw a center line. She does have one and a half, so that means I need to get one and a half because I don't have one and a half. Although I will say, I feel like I use one inch webbing more. But one and a half would probably be more comfy for this backpack. I just didn't do it because I didn't want to mess up with the top strap anchor yet, you know? I haven't done it yet, so. Okay, we got our center divider line. Grab my notes here. Okay, yeah. This is, this seems pretty. Good morning, Shannon. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Kayla. So I'm going to fold the long raw edges into the center. This this is might be where I make a mistake choosing this. But because my waterproof canvas slash interior was stripes, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do stripes. I kind of just wanted it to be more of like a solid color exterior, you know? I do have an industrial, so it should be okay. But I'm trying something new today. Also, ignore my nails. You see this like green yellow spot? I promise you my nails are clean. It's from having acrylic nails on, and the lady that did it, she didn't do that good. So I got little moldy spots. It's disgusting, I know. Okay, so there you go, okay? We're gonna sandwich our zipper now in between here like this. And then we're gonna top stitch right here. This is pretty thick, so probably do not use vinyl unless you have an industrial. Oh, show. Sure. Hi from Norway. Well, hey. Welcome, friend. It is 5.30 a.m. here in Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. We do have a pup and two kids, so if you hear or see any of them, I'm a human. I'm not a robot. That's what I got. All right, we're gonna tuck this zipper. I'll check which way it's going here. Okay. We're gonna flip it this way. Tuck this in. I just used some double stick tape, put that down. Okay, and I got a little overhang, but that's okay. Yeah, this is thick. Girl, I knew I should've listened. You never listen, do ya? No, I don't experiment and we might fail but you will understand how to make this back but. you could do it raw edged for sure you know what maybe we will no we won't um actually i'm just up early my husband had to work super early today um they're making them work on labor day which i'm like oh that seems jacked up but okay okay we're just gonna top stitch with a five stitch line I didn't put the foam on the side piece yet because you wouldn't want to sew through this and the side vinyl and the foam, you know. That'd be a little crazy. Okay. One done. Horrible and also makes you work on my every day. 
What is your boss's deal? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, there's one. Um, that's freaking cute though, okay? So that's one. Let's do another one. I should have just taped them all up together, but it's early. I really I mean, you wanted more hours. You're working that laser, girl. Work it. I'm gonna probably clean my house after this. It's gonna be a riveting time. So I will be laboring on Labor Day. But it is what it is. I am leaving a small. Uh, gap here. It's the little one for folding over. Oh, hello from Ohio. Welcome, friend. We've been having storms like crazy over here. We actually had to prepare for, like, a tropical storm from a hurricane. Can you believe it? Never in my life. I've worked here 36 years. But the ocean over here is super warm, and we got a hurricane that came in and washed up. It wasn't that bad, to be honest with you. Okay, so grab our zipper pull. And see, this one closes to the right, right? This one closes to the left, so that's how we're going to do it. Opposite. Also, the other day, I made my son watch the Goonies, and he was so against it, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, who, whose kid are you? They all like watching YouTube. Isn't that funny? I'm like, no, you're going to be a kid, and you're going to freaking watch the Goonies, okay? Thanks. Of course, he was, like, turning away, but I'm not watching this. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. I'm watching it. And, of course, he turned around and ended up watching it. I'm like, it's treasure hunting. How could you not like it? Crazy guy. He rubbed it, by the way. Also, my daughter, she um, now informed me she loves Taylor Swift. <laughs> I wish she would have loved Taylor Swift when she was here in concert. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? My daughter has told me a declaration of dislike of Taylor for years. Not anymore, though. Not anymore. Changed her mind, anyway. I'm not gonna say it's all the time I play the music, but maybe it is. Okay. Good morning, Marlene. Yeah. My kids are... What is T.Y. Goonies? Do you know YouTube? Why T? It's just a kid thing, you know? It started with my son. He's born in 2000. And him too, you know? Oh, there you go. That's nice. That's freaking nice. I wasn't sure how well that would work with the final so close, but once it's sewn on, I think it'll be okay. Okay, those are done. Now we're going to take the bottoms and what she does is she folds these in like this I probably should use some tape but I'm not going to Probably should. Let's at least mark the centers here, huh? That'd make it a little easier. I thought you meant my teeth. My kids are too, it's just what they do. Okay. Oh, nope. Get your act together. So we're gonna fold this right sides together. Let me get my stitch. My seam allowance. Okay, three eighths inch. We're gonna sew for here. 
this is a common uh, seam allowance. It is equivalent to one centimeter, I think. Yeah. So go ahead and sew this on. And you're going to want to do the raw edges to the raw edge of the zipper. This over. I have this little seam guide on here. It's pretty worn off, but. going to do the same thing on this other end. Go ahead and trim off your, my zipper tape is a little too long. I cut extra because I wasn't sure. Actually, morning. Yes, this is butter. This is uh, the lavender stuff. I forget what she called it. Lilac, maybe? It's the distress stuff. Okay. Three eighth inch seam allowance. Where are you at? Where are you at? Also, uh, would not recommend doing vinyl for your zipper gusset. I mean, that kind of, I honestly, it raised red flags, but maybe I'm bad at reading red flags. So now you can just pull it out, okay, wham bam, thank you ma'am, yeah that'll do, that'll do, I'm gonna, st I'm, mm, I'm thinking, I'm gonna baste this together. You need some here so much. Me too. That's why I'm trying to use it up. It is such a nice vinyl though. I have sewn many things with it. And every time I'm like, yep, yeah, that's... Actually, we can top stitch right here. Let's do that too. We'll top stitch and we'll baste around. This is thick. <laughs> uh, choices were made. Okay. Let's top stitch first. Oh, she's thicker than a snicker right there. She made it though. It's it's rare I have trouble getting through stuff unless it's like one time I tried to make this hooray hooray is that how you say it? I, it's from Lavender and Pine. Man, it was thick. Uh, I used leather. What was I thinking? I'm like, who do I think I am? That was a mistake. I won't. It, it literally scared me away from leather. I'll do like little accents here and there, but. Mm -mm. No more. But I mean, this is six layers of butter and it's cutting through like butter. And so is jokes. Oh, you would try to cut my stuff, wouldn't you? I'm sure it's needle. Okay. She gives you templates for where we're going to put these pockets, so. Can I get off? Thank goodness for that. Alright, we're going to base this open edge. Annie. No, actually, you can use vinyl, just not for this top side pocket. Well, like your front and your side pockets, the zipper gusset, don't use the vinyl for that. Or just have like a raw edge and like you could, you could need extra and just like on the part that touches the zipper teeth, just um, edge paint it. That'd be nice. Yeah, I think I'd do that next time. It's just thick. I'm just saying, like, for people that 
have a domestic because I'm pretty I'm like pretty sure she sews on the domestic or like a semi-industrial looking domestic. It's not a tabletop sewing machine like this. But all right, we're gonna repeat that with the other side and then we're gonna uh, so these pockets do have binding, FYI. Let's find the centers really quick. It's just like super thick right here. And I know when I attach this onto this side, it's going to be wild. But how do you know your limits unless you try, right? That's what we're going with. Look at that butt. Look at the butt. Get big butt. Um, also, I, a cool thing on her video, she used masking tape. She just put a piece of like masking tape right here and then marked on the masking tape where the center was. I thought that was pretty smart. I was like, huh, good. I'm gonna store that in the memory banks. Hopefully I can remember, right? World Wars memory right here. Okay, repeat for the other side. Yeah, it's so smart, isn't it? With the. Alright, let me just trim this off. Yeah, next time just do this raw edge. So make it one inch wide instead of two. And you'll be golden. And you can just paint down this side with edge paint if you want to. I'm not saying it's necessary, but just saying it would be cool. And I will say, this is my first time making this, so it's not going to be quick. If you want a fast one, though, on her Patreon, she has a shorty video, she calls it. And it's just like the Cliff Notes version of her long video. I thought, thought that was pretty cool. Great bench scene alarms again. Oh, my neighbor's gonna freak out. My dog's barking. And it's six in the morning, not even. Emma, if you're watching this, can you please put the doctor on and bring Betty in? Thank you. Our neighbor's kind of weird about our dog. I get it. I really try to be good about keeping him inside during quiet hours. But he hears me talking in here and he thinks I'm on the phone. And I don't know what his free and crazy brain thinks about the phone, but he does not like it. <laughs> like, who the heck are you talking to? Danger. money today. I've never named my machines. I've never done that. I've never been a thing I do. Hey, good morning. Yeah, the second one I think should be mirrored because I put the zipper on the other way. I think it's just hopefully on. Yeah, it should be fine. If it's not, um, then the pockets are going to go one the other way, and this will end up being reduced right back. <laughs> I think it should be fine. Let's see. Um, yeah, they're opposite. We're good. Let's go ahead and top stitch. Hello, Pickle. I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm so sorry. Let's 
paste these together again. did not put any interfacing on the bottom of this uh, pocket. You, she says not to because it makes it easier to install, which makes sense. So I'm thinking that it's because I doubled up on the vinyl, but the this is a little bit past the area, so that's going to probably be an issue. Sewing on the pocket should have tucked it in a little better, but this will probably just be a practice bag. finding the centers. Come on, Linda. We're doing sewing pockets right now. All right, I marked the center. Now, our side pocket gussets are done. Now we must make our sandwich. Is anybody hungry? Okay. This is how, okay, I love foam. I love foam. I'm a big foam fan now. I used to hate foam. Then I made the Mayfield three times, and now I love it. So, I just peeled off the back. The whole thing is super sticky. But we're just gonna center this in here. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna get a little seam roller. This is much easier than iron on. Make a sandwich. And then we're gonna find, well, you can find the centers now if you want, but I'm gonna find them after I baste this together. I love foam. Foam, foam, foam. I'm telling you, when you bind stuff too, it just adds such a nice um, structure, but it's not like so rigid and stiff. Like Decaville Light, I love it, but I don't because of the wrinkles. The freaking wrinkles. I can't with the wrinkling. Especially when you have like a vinyl exterior. It's so frustrating. Um, this foam is from Fabric Therapy. It's called Therafuse Foam. It's so freaking easy. I I think she has some coming like super soon. If there's not already some on there, but I can't remember. We just talked about this, but like I said, I have the world's worst memory. I'm just basing on this uh, lining. Fabric therapy is where the foam's from. I don't even know of anybody else that sells sticky foam like that. I think sophisticated craft designs has some of these, maybe? I don't know. That might be one way like foam. I'm telling you. I feel like it just keeps it out of your seam allowance easy, like, right? Because it's just, oops, stuck in place, and now it's sandwiched in between. It's really good, too, for when you bind stuff. Like, I put um, those hydro pouches I was making from Sweet Airlines. That has, I did foam on the front pocket, and honestly, we were test, I was testing different, like, 
interfacings and foam on the back panel too that lies along the cup. You wouldn't think it'd probably be good, but it actually keeps the zipper gusset really nice against the cup and it lets it um, form to the cup. So, Plus that bag is such a tiny bag that turning it right side out, you would get crazy wrinkles with that color. Like it would be a it would be kind of a B word to mm, iron that little guy. Because you can't put like an iron inside the back, you know, so. Is that what you use the most? Um, I just, I hadn't received this foam yet when I was making them. Those ones when I had already cut out my foam. So that's just the regular foam. I put like two strips of double stick tape to hold it in place, but. buy more. I'm like pretty sure she's getting a shipment. Right, Kayla? I think she can. I know. I give Nancy lots of money, too. Nancy and Lauren get most of my money. Okay. One Sammy done. Alright, let's do the second one. See how it kind of just gives it such a nice structure? And then once we sew it in, it'll look like that. It'll look so good. Okay, here we go again. We're just going to fill off the back. And stick it down. Oh, I meant to show you too. Like once I stick it down, how good it sticks. I don't even know if you need to do the seam roller part, honestly. I just thought, mm, better safe than sorry, maybe. Mm -hmm. This is my first time using the foam, too. Like, in the back. Okay. Look, see it? Hi. Good morning, Grisha. See, where the heck is the camera over here? It's like, on there. Okay. She's not coming off. And it doesn't even really need to stick that great to be putting uh, it in between the layers, but it just holds it out of the seam allowance, like perfect. Regular foam will work too, or you can do deck of the light. She does deck of the light in her video. That's, uh, what does she call it? I forget the actual name of it. I feel like it has the preen in it or something, but that's what they call it in her country. She's from Germany. Bisqueen. No, what's bisqueen? That's the stuff for pools. I did a whole trial on bisqueen and ceiling pools. Those mind numbing the thing the random stuff i know about nothing that ever matters reminds me of my um father-in-law when he was alive he had the most random knowledge about nothing <laughs> it's great i love talking to him oh i miss him even though he was interesting Thanks, I just got it. Um, we can blame Jess over Oak Roots because she made that bag out of this um, pastel mm. stripe. And then I was like, oh no, everybody's going to buy it up. I better buy some now. <laughs> and then I think we bought it all up. But she has other, um, her waterproof canvas with the prints is the, like the best. Like some of the best stuff I've ever used, honestly. 
Taurus. And like FYI, she's my friend, but she doesn't pay me to say these nice things. Because if I didn't like her stuff, I just wouldn't talk about it. <laughs> and I bought my this foam she did give me because I was like, can I have some foam, please? Because there it was sold out. So I got some back stock. I got some of the hidden bestie stock. I'm like 99% sure she said that the foam is coming. She almost has it here. So I was like, oh, I need some now. Give me all the foam. It's a good thickness, too. It's a little thick than, like, the Annie's. But, okay, I don't even know why I'm handed. I'm psycho. Alicia, um, so this pattern's already out. If you look at the description of this video, I'm going to find the centers on the shorter edges. If you look in the description of this video, there's a link to her Patreon. And so you pay um, her Patreon every month. I think it's $10. And you get a pattern. And she does not have detailed instructions like we're used to here in the U.S. Um, on our patterns. But she has videos that go along with everything. And her patterns, she is starting to add more um, written instructions. And she has like a shorty Cliff Notes video that's just like quick reference. What I do is I just watch the video once and write down notes of what to do. This month, this bag is rated, she has it rated as advanced. So I haven't rated it yet. Obviously, I've never made this, but I'm going to guess it's going to be like a, an intermediate maybe. Okay, got my centers, so let's go. We're going to attach this zipper. So the raw edge with the center match up the top. And we're gonna just, um, let's turn this out. We're gonna base this on with an eighth of an inch. And then we're going to be attaching, of course, I, what did I do? I only marked one center on that side. What are you doing, you crazy person? We will be binding this, so. So as you know, this bag has binding. If that's not your jam, then maybe you want to skip it. I don't think you should. I think you should just give it a try, you know. How do you know if you like it if you don't try it? You might love it. Now, in her videos, she clips her... Oh, wait, I missed something. Oh, Daryl Sadal. Daryl, you better back up. You don't know nothing about a bestie code. Okay, in her videos, she snips her, her zipper tape. So I, I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do that, but that's what she does. So proceed with caution, friends. If that's your thing, then I probably, I am going to snip the gusset though. It's like a couple little snips. She says that she likes the gusset tight. So really got to work it in she says although so far it fits great this is like making three hydro pouches i probably should have just done the uh come oh, on this fits well this fits marvelous now i don't sew with my stuff flat and then do that i don't do that I might do that. On the smaller stuff, it's harder to, I find it's harder on the smaller, you know, curves to do it the way I like to do it. Depends on the material, I guess. Jelly vinyl, since it's more stretchy, I like to just do that with my panel on my machine bed, but I usually like the gusset on the machine bed. Oh, look at how great that fits. Oh, girl, she is good. All right. Get my other one ready. So we're going to base with an eighth inch and then we're going to put on our 
is this called Boundless or Bound? I can't ever keep up with the names. Weft and Warp. It's from Weft and Warp. And I could have swore Nancy had something very similar. And I thought I had ordered it, but I don't think I did because then I never got it in a package. So she didn't mess up. I didn't order it. I don't know what my issue was there. So this stuff does have a little bit of fraying on the edges. So I'll just hit it with lighter. I mean, have you looked at the binding and bags you buy from the store? Does anybody else browse the bags at Target and just judge? Like, I'm I'm hardcore judging Target. Like, oh, people are willing to pay $50 for this piece of junk. Okay. Good to know. Duly noted. Almost got me in trouble. Good morning, Kim. All the side eye. Yeah, that's me. My target. People are probably looking at me like, what is this crazy lady doing? The last time I went to Target and I was doing that, my son was like so embarrassed. He's like, Mom, they're going to think that now you have to buy the bag. You've been looking at it too much. They're going to think you're going to try to steal it. I'm like, I don't want this piece of junk. I'm just getting ideas for construction. Getting inspiration. Yeah, we all do it, I think. The wildest one. I went to Claire's. My daughter loves that store. Oh my goodness. Claire's. The quality. You're, they, and they charge a lot at Claire's. Like, what? Alright, let's do a little a couple snips here. And they have, like, the weirdest... <laughs> I guess I say weird. It's probably not. They are like, yeah, Linda, some bags are left raw, like more than you would think. And people don't even notice. So why do we trip over it? <laughs> I don't know, but we do. We all do it. Like, nobody's going to realize that stitch is like one millimeter out of whack. Just put it up for sale. And they'll be like, no, I, it's flawed now. Unrealistic standards. <sighs> Surprise my cat hasn't come in here demanding her affection. She prowls the streets at night. I found a cat's collar by my trash can the other day. I'm like, oh my gosh, who is this? Your bestie? Somebody named Honey. I don't know. No cat attached. We have a lot of coyotes here though. A lot. And I've tried to keep my cat inside. Just don't worry, she has her claws. But she will not be, she figured out how to use the double dog door. She didn't get it for a few years, but you can't keep her in. I mean, I could keep her in, but then my dog would go to the bathroom everywhere. Because he has a nervous tummy. Okay, here we go. For this, uh, I'm probably going to move you because you can't see where you're at. Okay. Take a drink break, okay? It's almost been an hour, a little over an hour. Is there a limit on YouTube, Kim? Do you know? Like how many hours you can stream? I think it's four. If I cut off for some reason, don't worry, I'll come back. You just watch it. If you've hung out for that entire time, okay, we're moving. I'm mourning those that are motion sick. My floors are dirty, so I'm trying to eat. Like I said, I'm cleaning after this, right? So, here we go. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely, darling. Thread snips. Let's stop messing with the focus. Okay, I think that's in the middle. All right, baste it on with an eighth inch seam allowance. I'm not saying you need to go buy some uh, 
hemostats. If you don't have any, you can get them pretty cheap on uh, Amazon. But it does make this process easier. If you want really cute rainbow ones that are custom engraved, Julie's. She's got some fun stuff over there. All right. I'm going to rotate this bag around. I'm just moving the gusset on the other side. And I'm hand cranking just around this corner. Sorry, I didn't mean to pop you. My bad, bestie. There you go. Never lift up your foot unless your needle is down. Okay? Good girl, awesome. How's this view looking? Oh, this is a great view. Heels make you seem... What? What you said there, And I'm feeling with my hand on the other side just to make sure there's no um, wrinkling in the gusset when I'm stitching around. Right here is a little bit extra, so this butter does um, have a little stretch to it, so I just ugh, locked on me. Evenly distribute that. I'm thinking I will be okay when I sew on this to the side panels. I think I'll be okay. make lives better is if one I could hear your voice when you're talking to me. Emos make your seam so round. Oh look who's coming. Oh Mitchell Hellion. Welcome darling. Oh my dog's looking at me like who the heck do you think you're talking to? Don't scratch the couch. Okay. Here we go. It's a circus in here. We just got a new couch, so I care about it right now. You know how that goes. Okay. Really, these pockets, though, are what take the longest on this bag. I mean, the rest of it is, seems pretty simple. Pretty straightforward to me. Now this will probably be easier from the other side. If you like to put your lining on the machine bed instead of your gusset. But I'm telling you for this bottom corner, it's easier the other way. Now normally, I like to attach my binding with an eighth inch seam allowance and then I fold it over and top stitch my binding. But we are not doing that today because I got this sticky stuff. So I'm just gonna stick this sticky stuff on and then sew my seam allowance of a quarter inch. So. Feels a little not natural to do it this way for me, but I don't honestly I don't have any binding, um, pre-made binding besides the white that matches, so I was kind of like stuck on the choice there. I mean, not stuck because it's nice, but you know what I mean. All right, let's do the other one. Oh no! What did 
you all give yourself a blood blister or that. You got your finger stuck in them, actually. I'm not going to lie to you how large your fingers. That did happen to me, too. I have had my finger stuck, my thumb particularly. And I get, um, right here on my thumb, I get, I, there's like an indent from holding them. And I'm getting a callus right there. Oh, lovely. Sweet. I started doing this female stat trick. The first time I ever did it was with um, the Sophisticated Craft Designs. One of her zipping travels. Something zipping. I don't know. I, I can never keep her pattern name straight, but that's the first time I ever tried it. And I wasn't very good at it. And then or I did it with Orosos. Yeah, I did pretty good. But the bigger the the bigger the curve you're sewing or gusset, the easier it is. Like this tight corner, these are harder to do in general. So don't give up. Keep trying if you need to practice. The Catalina by Oros is a good one to practice on. It's a nice, easy curve. Alright, I'm just feeling it. I'm sorry for dumping. Morning, Emma. You're up early. Why are you up so early? You don't have to be up this early. Oh. Um. Because my alarm went off. Oh I, no! It was supposed to be Monday. Oh, I didn't even think to tell you to turn that guy off. I turned off all my alarms first day too. Did you? Oh, like you're getting home alarms to text me and stuff. I did. Did you text Daddy Happy Labor Day? Yeah. The girl owns a major mm -hmm. No, it's but I'll text my Our husband is a laborer foreman for the engineering department at Caesar's Palace, so. Isn't that messed up? They're making them work on Labor Day and they're laborers? I'm like, dang, ruthless. It's a new thing. They're supposed to have it after their union contract. I'm like, sounds like a grievance to me. But they get paid well. They get holiday pay, so. It's not too hard. Just around the bend here. Did anyone else, when you were a kid, um, Burger King used to have these really cool, like, Disney cups that you could get when they came out with the movie. Do you remember this? We, like, coveted those cups in my house as a kid. We had, um, my favorite ones was Pocahontas. I loved my Pocahontas cups so much. I don't even know why I just thought of that, but here we are. Okay. Also, if you're part of the badass, yeah, yeah, those cups were amazing. Pulled and zip. That was it. Who said that? You still have your cups? That's cool. Mine didn't make it out of childhood. And those were probably good collectors. If you're standing here and ask me for what's for breakfast, you're on your own, kid. My favorite house thing. Yes. I'll watch you guys. You don't have to. I mean, I appreciate the feeling of this, but yeah. I was going to anyways. Okay. Only for like an hour and then get off and do something else. Okay. Don't dangle. 
Um, don't move until next week. Okay, there we go. Those two are done. Let's go ahead and bind. I'm gonna pull you out a little. Oop, that's as far out as you go. Okay. Let's cut this wonky edge off. I'm not gonna do any folding or anything crazy. Where they intersect, don't do it like on a an actual seam, right? So you don't want where it where the end folds over the top to be on a seam. Just do it like down here. Only when your aunt would take you? Dang. Moms be ruthless, yo. Okay, here you go. Okay, this is one inch wide. So I'm just folding it over like that. That's cool. That's cool. I still, I think, prefer the double fold method, but I don't have anything that matches. And I could be, um, I could have cut some out, yes. But I didn't, so here we are. One inch might be, like, a little bit big. Maybe, like, three-quarter inch would be good. Anarchy at the zipper. We'll see. The other thing that's hard about this all sticky stuff is like your corners can't look as good, right? Because they're not. I guess I could tuck them in. Okay, hold on here. Should we just do this? Kind of seems counterintuitive to what it is, but oh yeah, we're sure gonna forget about that. That's better. Yep. I'm gonna stick yourself. Stick yourself. I'm just folding in a little bit and then folding over this seam. So one side is not folded under, but I think it looks better on these curves here. This is just I don't know about all that. I'm not taking it, I'm not taking that. Stuff is pretty freaking sticky though. Hi, my name is Amber and I'm a perfectionist. Oh, pre fold. Well, look at that. I guess I'm going to have to do that. We'll do it on the next one. See, that looks better then. Just fold in the one side only so that it doesn't look all like... Yeah, I like that better. Alright, you guys are saying fold in half. I wonder how it looks. This is the second time that I've ever only used this stuff. Kind of like a hobbit reluctant to change. Are hobbits reluctant to change? Why do they say that? I don't know. It sounds unfair to hobbits. I'm actually just lining this up where I want the edge to be. And then I will fold down. Emma, can you bring Buddy in and put on the dog door for me? See it when it's done. You are. You're so right. Here I am. I'm still folding it, aren't I? And this is why it takes you forever. You get to sew all day. I think that you should message sweet Adeline. 
pictures and some shades on a tester. You have a YouTube channel. You would be great. It would be a fabulous addition. There, that's nice. That'll do. Takes you forever to make stuff. That's why you need something small. If you get that hydro pouch, man, it's not too much work and it has great results. I made a jelly in Claire one yesterday. <gasps> Sweet beard is Zeus. It's amazing. But I said I wouldn't give him no more snakes because I know too many snakes. People are like, okay, stop already. We can't even get it yet. You don't even have a freaking date. Okay, I'm sorry. But I guarantee you, in about a few weeks, whenever she releases that, we're about to see hydro pouches on deck. I was going to run over to Dick's Sporting Goods today because that's where I got my little Stanley cup. We had the lime green one. And Nancy asked me to look for her, for the cream speckled one. But I think they're sold out now. They must have just done a restock when I went the other day. Because I'm telling you, the cup ladies in my town, we don't play. They don't play. I'm not a cup lady like that, but. All right. It's five stitch length. Yeah. It, it's not that much more left for sure. All right. We're going to just top stitch. And I'm going to back stitch. Stuff is easier to, you don't have to have five. I guess I still clipped it though, so like that. Make sure you're less than a quarter inch seam allowance when you're doing your binding top stitch because you'll change the shape of your bag. Actually, we should have done a quarter, I think. It's okay. This, this stitch is the shape of your bag. I forget I didn't do it my normal way. So I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. Because so I had only done my basting stitch. Let me show my door. I had only done my basting stitch. So. Oops, sorry. This is not going to make the cut over here. Another one bites the dust. You don't need a Stanley Cup option. They fit uh, Starbucks cups too. Any cups, any tumblers. All you need is that shelf liner stuff and you can attach it to anything. It works good. I got the shelf liner last night and tried it. It works good. amazing. Trying to be mindful that this is my stitch that it's gonna affect the shape of your bag, of your pouch, your, ex your little exterior pouch. It's looking good. It's looking nice. The stickiness definitely helps for this stuff, for this part. I'm digging that. I did a little less than a quarter inch seam allowance for sure, but it's okay. As long as I do the same on both, you're fine. All right, let's singe our edges and just check. Oh, Caddy want this here, but let's see if we need to fix it. I actually am digging the white binding. I wasn't sure I would, but I do. The other thing I like about the sticky stuff is that you don't have to worry about the uh, edges getting in the way of your zipper. 
All right, let's see. How does that look? That looks nice. That looks good. It's a nice pocket right there. Yeah, the white binding looks nice, huh? All right, one done. Let's repeat one more time. And then after that, we only have to make one more of these on the exterior. I'm going to say I messed up there, guys. I should have just done them all at the same time. So I apologize for that. You can fast forward when it plays on the replay. I did double fold that, Ashley. Yeah, you know what? You totally could use that on your arm if that's your jam. Let's see what. Oh, wait, y'all told me to fold it in half. I'm not doing that. I'm just sticking the shit. Same thing. I'm just like positioning it where I kind of want it to cover over here. Keeping in mind that you're, we're doing a little less than a quarter seam allowance, so. Okay, that's good. Fold it over a smidge. We don't say smidge, we say smitch in my house. Courtesy of my son. He always said that smitch. He had tubes in his ears when he was little, so I, I don't think he kind of had delayed speech. He couldn't hear that well to learn how to speak. So some words we say different. I love it. There we go. There we go. You know what, Lynn, I've heard that about the Simply Modern Cups, that they're better. Yeah, some, um, our friend Erin at Better Than Your Bandana, she said that they tested those cups and they have lead. Uh, the sealing, the cup seal, um, is, they use lead solder, I think is what it was, wasn't it? So she said, do not use hot drinks in there. In the Stanley ones, I mean. I have no info about. And I also have not looked that up. I'm not saying she's wrong, but I also have not verified that either. I have no reason not to believe her, though. She's straight shooter with me. I'm like, oh, you better say I'm sorry. Man, I nicked myself good with the screwdriver. That's what gets me the screwdriver when I change out my needles. Oh, can you say that word on YouTube? Oh, no. Yeah, it's so wild because they just can't tell you. And it's not like you freaking know. Like, I've never dealt with. I mean, I had tubes in my ears when I was a kid. So it makes sense that he would need them if he got my ear um, anatomy, but. Which he did get, but. I mean, how do you know? It's a guessing game 90% of the time with kids, which is scary for me. I don't want to give myself anxiety. I'm not going to think about it. I got to hold on to the light. It's stressful, you know? There you go. Everybody that has kids does. You have a dog, you know? You have a cat, you know? If you love anybody, you get it. Yeah, I, I kind of Googled it. I didn't get into the weeds, though. But I, I trust Aaron's word, so. I was doing the whole thing with my kids, like... Just because it's on YouTube doesn't mean it's real. Like, that doesn't mean it's true. You know. Trying to make them more educated about researching before you repeat. Okay, remember, this is going to affect your shape. A scant quarter inch is what we're doing. Oh, you want to try to play today. That was aggressive. I'm 
they need to buy some because they're so bulging. Rotating around. Here we go. I think I'm going to try and do time stamps on this video when I. Oh, you tried to get my finger in there, did you? When I re when I um, publish it after I'm done, because I want you to be able to just go to a spot. I don't. I have no clue how to do timestamps, but I'm gonna figure it out. Hopefully, you can do it on live videos. I think you can. Just so I can say, like, oh, hey, here's how we made a pocket. You can skip these three hours I took making the other two. So does anybody know what time it is in Germany? I don't know how many hours ahead of us they are. Next, we're going to attach these onto the side panels, and then we will add the foam. We think I don't think we based actually though. Yeah, we don't. So never mind. We will add the foam, but we're not basting the liner to the exterior. There we go. Oh look, I didn't get that all the way. Let's redo this part just right here. See a little in there, but not much. Right here is a little too. Right here. Maureen asks, where did you get the leather? I love the color. It's from Left and Warp. It's called Butta. B-U-T-T-A-H. And this is in... I think it's called Lilac, but you can check her group on Facebook and see what she actually calls it. This was a pre-order, though, so I don't know that she has any available right now. Let's see. Much better. Much better, much better. Okay. Those are good. Yep, yep, yep. Like it. All right, get your side panel. Let me open up my blinds. The sun is out. Okay. I hope I remember exactly what this gusset. I feel like she did the exterior gusset and then the interior gusset. There was like a separate thing. Hmm. Trying to think now. I'll probably have to look at the pattern. Okay, so this is a side pocket. 
find the centers of these. This is where we're gonna fail or succeed. Okay, we found the center. Um, I'm gonna move you. Warning, motion warning. So we've got the centers. We're going to three quarters inch up from the bottom is where we're going to start this. Let me move you back just a bit more. Here's the template. Three quarters inch up from the bottom. So this is five uh, inches wide, so at two and a half. Go ahead and put the template centers, okay? Just like that. Now you can draw with chalk or your silver marking pen. I kind of want to do my silver marking pen. I'm just worried it won't wipe off all the way, but let's go for it. It'll be easier with this. And you're gonna to want to mark where the centers are here because all these four points, we're gonna mark those up or line those up, I mean. Here we go. I need more water. Actually, I'm going to coffee. Now, let me flip this one out. This is why I like butter because it's so like luxurious on curves. Every single I've used butter with bound uh, gussets like this so many times. Every time, it's so good. So it doesn't matter which one you pick, okay? Now what she does, what she does is she puts pins because she's using waterproof canvas or some kind of canvas line. I can't uh, think of what she calls it. I'm just gonna put a small line of double stick tape along the, the uh, straight edges to keep from moving to help. I've done one, you know that Sincerely Jen um, backpack she did for Bag of the Month Club? I can't think of the name of it. That is a, a pocket like this. And I used butter on that too. Okay. We're going to line up our center markings. Oh, this is thick. And then... We should be able to close it. There we go. My brain is singing Highway to the Danger Zone. So we're gonna mark, we're gonna line up this with that, and I'm just gonna act like this is a straight line, okay? I should have fixed that, but I didn't. Unzip your pockets. And there's our center to our center. These kind of pockets are hard because you can't snip on the curves, you know? That's how anxiety attack. 
good enough. This is where it's so thick. Yeah, don't do that. Do a single fold for that. You tore the finish off of it. Oh my goodness. That's not good. I have not experienced that. What color was it? I'd be interested to know the color. Just for research purposes. So I don't use double stick tape on that color. Okay, this is going to be great. We're going to do great. Can you see me? I think I'm going to I'm going to zoom you ahead overhead. Bird's eye view. I think that's good, yeah. Yep, that's great. All right. This is lined up pretty pretty close with the Oh yeah, that's sticky on there, huh? Okay, just push it out of the way. This is like a top stitch. I'm not gonna back stitch because I'm gonna pull it to the back because I'm crazy. Okay, top stitch length. Red, I never buy red anything. I'm just not into it. I don't even wear red clothes. I got 5,000 black shirts though. So if you're ever in need of a... Okay, I'm coming up on this bump here, this epic bump. I'm getting my... Where did it go? Oh, did my cat steal it again? She likes to steal my hump jumper. Oh, I found it. Okay, we're good. She also takes the bottle cap, the little cap off my um, sewing oil. She tries to play. Okay, I'm going to um, hand crank over this bump. And we're just going to say a little purple view that it... Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good, girl. That is thick. <laughs> All right. Now, kind of try to pull this around your curve that we marked on here. I'm just hoping this silver marking pen comes off is all. I think it will, but maybe it won't. I guess it's like silver. You can't really see it on lavender anyways, right? All right, pivot. Ooh, see? Yeah. I'm getting a hand workout today. Do you guys feel like you have super strong hands? I do. Okay, that, that went okay. That went better than I thought it would, to be honest with you. Oh, I should have. Jackrabbit. Where are my hemostats? Now we got this curve. I'm going to try to be careful because I don't want to indent my butter too much. Or rip it. Oh, I already ripped it. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're fine. I'm just like super pushing. I like did one stitch too much on this. Oh, I ripped it again. sweating from this. TMI, I know, I know. Pop tap, do this. Get out the way. This might be the best 3D pocket. I wish I would have had the foresight to make sure that didn't hang over. But... Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, shoot. That's not the prettiest right there. We got caught on the bump. Okay. I think we've done enough stitching there. Let's just manually move that. There we go. Make sure this lines up around this corner. Um, you got like an 45 minutes. 
What are we gonna do? I don't know, you'll find something. I'm on a live hook, can you? Thanks. You don't have to shut it all the way, that's fine. colors are just different the way they behave though i think it was a pink one she had it was struggle busting all right oh okay 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 pull this thread to the back and then we're just going to add our foam stabilizer we should be good. Hopefully it's not crooked. This is definitely a skill I could improve on. These like exterior pockets. I'm kind of glad I'm getting some practice. That seemed to work with the double stick tape. I'm just going to end in the hole I began in. actually plug my phone in so it's charging. All right, singe those. Let's see how it looks. Pop that pocket out. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, that looks pretty good. What do you think? I think we did pretty dang good. That looks nice. That sucks about dolls. Nobody will notice, Amber. Nobody will notice. All right, before I forget, let's wipe off our marker. That would be a tragedy. Water and a, um, what are these called? I call them tea towels. I don't know what they're called, though. All right, Lauren's pen. The silver marking leather pins wipes off beautifully. All right, I don't think you can see it over here. Maybe a little right here. A rag? Yeah, it's just like a. It's a tea towel. Is what it is, basically. Okay, that looks nice. So let's get our foam for this side. Flip it over. Might be a little bit hard since we've sewn it. Sewn on it now, but shouldn't be too bad. This stuff is sticky. You know when your fingers stick. Okay, I'm going to cut down here because it's a little too close to the bottom seam here. Probably because... There we go. Ooh, that's a nice uh, pocket. I bet you that would fit my phone. Yep. Yup, Roonies. Uh oh, okay. Don't stick yet, friend. I haven't cut you all the way. One done.
yeah, it's the fabric therapy. I think it's, a, it's called Therafuse foam. I thought it was called Lofty Fuse. Why did I think that? I don't even know. It's not. It's called Therafuse foam on the website. I just looked it up and tagged her yesterday on something I posted. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's mighty fine. One pocket done. Go ahead and get that guy out of the way. Okay, let's find our other side. I'm going to plug you in as well. So you dent it down to the juice. Mark your centers. That's one thing I need to remember to do before I do go on and sew. I need to mark all my centers. Sometimes when patterns tell me, hey, go mark all these centers right now, and I do it, I'm always so grateful. Like, thank you so much. It does end up saving time. Okay, three quarters of an inch. lost my silver marking pen here. All right, we're done with that template piece. Lofty is the fleece. Oh, see. I swear my head would be on backwards if it weren't for you, Kayla. Alright, we're going to repeat what we just did because that worked well. just thinking here it looks like maybe the pattern piece makes the pocket go up a little higher on here and maybe I would just center it on this side pocket piece to make it easier when attaching the zipper that's just gonna be my recommendation write a note I can remember for the next time I make this. Okay. Just going to repeat what we just did. Oh, I put this on backwards. Upside down. Silly. Like, wait a second. These aren't lining up. Unzip your pocket, it makes it easier.
I'm gonna start down here. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah, they are weird. We attached um, the zipper gusset. We made sure they were. I'm not back stitching. I gotta manhandle this a little bit. Also, I don't like how turn many stuff there. I'm just trying to pop this out so I can rotate it around. So I tilt it around. Go. I have sewn through my finger before. Not with this machine, though. I know it looks a little precarious. But don't worry. This thing also keeps flipping up. I tried to keep it down, but... Keeping my stitch line to come straight. I know this is just going to be a little extra up right there. A little extra love. Hump jumper. I mean, also, let's give a round of applause to this machine for sewing through all this layers right here this is four five six seven eight nine layers of butter say what Let's learn from our mistakes now, shall we? Home jumper, where are you at, girl? I think maybe I need a little melt line with this one. And I'm kind of pushing with, I'm pushing on my home jumper when I'm. Uh, coming down off the hump. So it doesn't. 500 mini stitches right there. It's not the prettiest thing, but it worked okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that stinks. Should have watched out for that a little better, but I won't make the same mistake twice. Come through. Thanks, Ashley. Hi from Spain, Marina. That's amazing. Welcome. You're having a live feed from Las Vegas, Nevada. In the USA. I wonder too, is Las Vegas, Nevada as popular um, worldwide as it is here in the country? Like everybody, I think, pretty much knows Las Vegas, Nevada. But Alright, get your phone. Boop. I do try to not pull on the foam when I'm putting it down. Um, I have to cut off a little. I must have just cut this piece wrong. Or maybe the... Oh, it's sticky. Well, we did it. It wasn't a colossal mistake. I was worried there for a while with this thickness, but I machined it pretty dang good. Okay. Just wiping off my um, silver marking pen. Okay, those are done. We're gonna go ahead and do the front pocket now. This is probably a bag to make over more than one day. I'm tired. But we will press on. Okay, so now we're going to um, front pocket, interior, exterior, foam interfacing, Get our zippers, our zipper, and our gussets. I'll make sure I do it right on this one with the uh, okay. oh, just dropped my stuff. Oh, my husband watched my video. What? That's amazing. Thanks, babe. Sweet man. God, I just love you. Oh, here we go again. So next time do all your pocket do all your pockets at the same time. You know. Alright, add our pole. so funny in Sarah's um, video she said like of course whenever I'm on the camera the zipper doesn't want to cooperate and I feel that I feel that okay find the center I'm gonna go ahead and just do this how I did the other side ones because it worked out well for me I was nervous about it Might as well keep it consistent at this point. Nothing to be mad at. Okay. We're adding double stick tape down the... Hi, Evelyn. 
you know, maybe it is good I did this one separate because now it's starting to be a good time for the West Coasters. Um, coming up on like 7.30ish. So maybe now you guys can see this style of 3D pocket. We already did our side pockets, Evelyn. So we're doing the front pocket and then you can see how this goes. So we're just folding these long edges towards the center, not touching the line, just coming kind of close to it. I wish I could play music. I usually listen to music or an audiobook when I'm sewing. Okay, so the way we're going to want this zipper, we're going to want it to be closing to the left. So insert this top edge into here, okay? So I'm gonna put some double stick tape down. I feel like I mastered this kind of pocket now. I wonder if my brain can remember. And there's a little overhang because I cut extra. I didn't want to get too short. Um, when If you're watching the replay, you got the measurements at the beginning. I always cut like an eighth of an inch longer. I know this seems kind of close to the zipper teeth, but it actually works out fine on the other pockets. So that's another thing I was worried about. We're playing Bob and Chicken now. I'm not sure where we're at. But we're going to top stitch with a five stitch length. Back stitching. Scooch that out of the way. Trim your tape up. Okay, you're gonna fold. This is the bottom of the gusset. Raw edge of the zipper to the raw edge of this. And basically you're gonna fold this in half. We're gonna tuck it into here. We want, we'd rather have extra over here is my my understanding now making this once so there we go three eighth inch seam allowance to attach I'm gonna go down to 4.5 stitch length Same thing, tuck this down onto the other end. Make sure this is tucked in there. So that it looks nice when you attach it. All right, three eighth inch seam allowance again. Oh, look at that. Did I not say we're playing Bob and Chicken? We just lost. Bobbin one, amber zero. All right, that's one bobbin for this bag so far. I always like to like rate bags. How many bobbins is this bag? I love a one bobbin bag. I hate it when it unthreads your... Why well, you gotta be so extra? See, the only thing about the sticky stuff when you sew through like the bunding, it's all stickies on your needle. Hi, 
Mickey. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Trying to trick me, are you? Not today. All right, let's finish up this three inch zoom box. I definitely would not use like a glitter vinyl on these gussets. Don't do it. Oh, that's much better. Good job this time, guys. All right, let's top stitch this seam. Watch your needle. Sometimes they bite. Oh, my cat must have went to bed. I wanted you to meet her. All right. Oh, that's much better this time. Good job, guys. Go team. Take a drink of water. I need some water. How much water do you drink a day? Like, realistically. I maybe like one big cup, one hydro flask. If I work out, I drink probably two of those. Today's a workout day. Today we were working out. We did chest and triceps yesterday. We're doing, oh, my favorite, uh, traps and shoulders. I hate traps. Who wants traps? You need traps because you got a neck, okay? With a big old hit on it. Okay. We're going to baste. What are you doing we're going to baste these raw open edges here. Find your centers. Oh, thank you so much, Mickey. I'm making a Tulia backpack by Sarah Merriam. Um, it has like three. 3D pockets and I love a backpack. I think backpack is honestly my favorite kind of sew. Why is that? I don't even know. Backpacks were such a thing when I was a kid so I'm sure it has something to do subliminally with that. Like Jansport? Where are you at? I love Jansport when I was a kid. I wanted one so bad and then I finally got a yellow one. Did you know I wanted a yellow Jeep when I was a kid? That was going to be like my cool grown-up car. A yellow Jeep. And then my grandmother crushed my dreams and told me that Jeeps have a high flipping rate. So and then I never got it. <laughs> oh, okay. This thread cutter is from Carolina Little Stitches. pretty shibby. Okay, we're going to add our foam centered on the exterior panel. Oh, that's not centered. Whoa. There we go. Seam roller. Okay, 
baste the liner onto the exterior. Yeah, I need to drink this water too. I'm a pretty good one. I'm always telling my kids, get a glass of water. I'm telling my husband, drink more water. He has anything wrong with him. You need to drink more water. Foam. Yeah, sticker foam's amazing. It's from Fabric Therapy. I'm really sad that we can't have rainbow colored, I mean, a uh, Halloween colored glitter clips. It's not gonna happen though, guys. Do you know how much clips break in general? I mean, do you remember before we had these cold glare ones? The red ones, the, uh, who picked, first of all, who picked red? Who wasn't, that had to be somebody with no sense of style picked red for the color of clips? Um, yeah. But those used to break all the time too. But too many people have complained about the clips breaking, so... I think that has discouraged our bestie from bringing in other colors. So that's sad. The red ones break too, guys. Okay. Oh, that went a little over the eighth inch. Oh well. I'm just basting this on. Should I have put my nameplate on this front pocket? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't now. Too late. Might be a nicer place. We'll see. Um, this might be big enough to get my Kindle. I'm like 90% sure. We're going to check it when we're done. Because the Kindle is the most important thing. Also, if you're not on my Instagram... So join because we're having a giveaway soon. We got 4K giveaway on the Crafty Reporter. We just hit 1K on the Badass Bag Makers Club, which is my second Instagram account. And um, I'm giving away a Kindle and a limited edition T-shirt I've never sold with the Badass Bag Makers Club logo on it. Um, a roll of my vinyl, my bestie vinyl. I can show you. I don't know if anyone's seen it. If you're not on Instagram, you haven't. It's my scissor patch that I had created for the sewing blurps. You've seen it? Let's see. So this patch is this, see? And it has like little bows and daisies. So I'm gonna give one of these away. I only got a few printed. So there's not a lot. I don't really plan on selling it. Actually, I don't plan on selling it, so. All right, find the center. So I'm gonna have one of those in each giveaway. Also, there's a group on Facebook called the Bag Makers Dossier. That's my Facebook group. And we just like share all the cool things we make and any tips, tricks, fabric promotion, pattern promotion, hardware promotion. Just a good place to go. Okay. Anyway, that's almost at 1K too, and that's going to have a giveaway once we get to 1K. Maybe I can get some shops involved on that one. You're going to get all my stickers. You're going to get my patches. Who knows what else I'll throw in there. So we're going to start the giveaway tomorrow on uh, to enter for the giveaway on the Badass Bag Makers Club because that um, account did make it. We made it. 1K. We're like 100 and something, 120 something away on Crafty Reporter from 4K. I don't think I'll give a Kindle away in the group on Facebook though. Unless it's like something people really want, but. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, you know, Ashley, the clips just break. It doesn't matter what brand they are. I think Lauren's sad that people say the hers break, so. It's telling her everybody's breaks. Even the red ones broke all the time before you came out with these cool guys. She just got discouraged, I think. So we won't get Halloween colors. Maybe one day we can convince her. Although she does have black on there, so you can get like the black and emerald. <clears throat> I think glow in the dark clips would be amazing. I lose mine all the time. <laughs> Alright, we're just attaching the zipper gusset to the front pocket. Now see, these curves are bigger, so this is gonna be easier to sew around. The bigger the curve and pocket or whatever panel, the easier it is, in my opinion. So we're gonna start at an eighth of an inch and just baste this on. Um, I'm going to move you, so if you're motion sick, please look away. I just want you to watch my gusset if you need it. Yeah, that's smart, Kim. There you go. You hear Kim? She said, when you got to do the thick stuff, don't use the plastic clips. Use binder clips like Nico. Nico Craft uses those. Huh? Okay. We are going to sew. Let's see. Is that better? I'm trying to get you good light here. There you go. So base this on at an eighth of an inch. Use your hemostats. This is the last 3D pocket, so... It's good practice. You, if you make this, you will definitely be good at making 3D pockets after this pattern. I need to make one of those all bottled up bags. Oh, I have so many good ideas. We're going to be doing, so I'm part of a group um, on, well, we're like a community of YouTube bag makers, and we're going to call ourselves this, the Marathon Society, but it's going to be like S-E-W, get it? <laughs> so we just got our logo made, it's so cute, and <clears throat> we do like a bag pattern. And all of us take time slots, and it's like a marathon of YouTube sewing all day. And you can watch everyone else make it, and there are spins on it. Last month, we made the Moon Dance Holder by Sincerely Jen. And that was so fun. It's fun doing it. Every time I do it, I'm like, yes. Even one of the makers, she turned it into, like Kim, she made a freaking the little spell book from what is the book actually called I forget, but the little spell book from um oh well I'm having a brain fart in the name of the movie but how did I forget the name of the movie what light do you have on your machine where are my links um well, they'll be in this video afterwards, but I'm on Instagram. Just look up the Crafty Reporter, and there's a link tree on that Instagram. Hocus Pocus, that's what it was. Thank you. The light I have on my machine, what is the name of it? I don't know, it just came with it. It just says LED bright light. So that's not helpful, but that's what it says. It's like magnetic base, and it plugs into a regular outlet. And this little LED machine, you just look at like LED sewing machine light, it just sticks on. This one's cool, you can make it brighter or dimmer. Oh, 
Oh, um, if you go to my Instagram, there's a link to it. It's bag maker. They're two different words, bag makers with an apostrophe S. And then dossier is D-O-S-S-I-E-R. Can you tell I'm a book nerd? I named my group after a fancy word I heard in a book. I was like, oh, I like that, a dossier, a collection of files. Because on my Kindle, I, when I see words I don't know, I always like, hmm, dictionary, what does that mean? Because in my job, I'm a court reporter and I basically write words all day long. So if I come across words I haven't heard, then if somebody says them in court, I won't, I'll kind of lose context because you kind of have to understand the context of what everyone's talking about to write the right version of words, et cetera, et cetera. Anyone's free to join, yeah. It's not a... As long as you're nice, you can come. Okay, now we're gonna do our binding. Our um, Marathon Society will be doing an, a really fun Halloween over the month of October. It's a few weekends. Or is it every weekend? I think it's at least three weekends. Maybe all four. I can't remember. Where we're we doing different. Um, Halloween inspired sewing. Okay, this went over. I'm going to trim that down. I'm a nerd, I know. You are too. Don't even try to fake the funk, girl. I know you. Nerd. I'm gonna close this part. Hey, this Kindle too is nice. It's the 16 gigabyte storage. And I sprung and got ad free. Okay. That ain't love. I don't know what is. There we go. Okay. It's three weekends. Okay, great. That'll be fun. You'll have to join us. And Kim, he just finished the logo, so when I'm done with this, I will send it to you. What kind of binding is this? Um, this, I think it's called 
Bound or Boundless. I can't remember the name. Um, this one is from Weft and Warp. Fabric Therapy also sells one. And does Soulful Therapy sell it too? I'm not sure. can't remember. She probably does. Sorry, I hit your face again. So this uh, mining is a piece of So after we attach this binding, we will attach it onto the front panel and then we're gonna do our handles and attach our handles onto the front and our nameplate onto the front and our front panel is done. And then we'll just have to build our back. And that'll be done for exteriors. Let me for gusset. Boom. This really looked like the most time consuming part. Okay. Now we are boundless. Thank you. That's so many names I get lost. We're going to do a scant quarter inch seam allowance and I do a five stitch length because it's kind of like a top stitching, but this will affect the shape of your back, so be careful. That's a big seam right there. You can also use your Hemostats to help you grip if you need. See, those corners are just so much easier when they're bigger. All right. Mm. Don't burn yourself. I'm just going to flip this out and check how it looks. Make sure we don't see any basting stitching. That's a nice looking corner there, huh? I think, I think we're pretty good. Let me see if I'm going out. Oh, that looks nice. Let's 
See, it might have been nice to have the... Um, so I use these little badge backings. You can buy my Carolina little stitches. And then you put your boop and you top stitch that. That might have been nice. Keep it in mind when you make it, if you make it. All right, go ahead and get an exterior panel. I'm gonna just put you up high. Kind of see what I'm doing here. Find your centers. Okay, it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be a you just double, triple check. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Three quarters. Get your template for your front pocket. Um, I just made this four for my on my center mark I just cut. And then I'll line up this liking. That looks good. Trace around your template. Mark the points here. Oh, wait. Shoot. I had the template upside down, so that's not going to be the correct center. This one? Yeah. This is going to be where those line up. all you need for that. Take your double stick tape and line it along the long straightaways. your center here marked lined up with the center here and just stick it down Try not to put my head in your way. <laughs> but it's proving a little difficult to put this down. Okay. This side. Alright, got a little thread hanging out there. Let's get that guy out of the way. Oh man, that's gonna look so freaking good. Look at that. And then we'll put our straps here, our handle, and then we'll just put our name thing in the middle here. That'll look good. But I probably, I might do it here, but next time I might make it right here. Okay, let's go ahead and attach it. 
top stitch length. I'm gonna zoom you back down. Start down here. I'm not gonna back stitch because I am going to pull my threads to the back. your pocket. That way you can collapse in the gusset a little to play with it. Let's see here. real nice. These are the straightest pockets I've ever done <clears throat> for a 3D pocket. My one on my Sincerely Gin bag was a little crooked. Not much, but enough to bug me. This curve is lined up and ready. Oh, I almost ripped my string. Whew, that was a close one. A little too thick. Looks okay. Like I said, it's nine layers right there, so. Struggle here too. Okay. That was a bad idea to lift up my presser foot while my needle was not down. Do not do that. Okay, pull this thread to the back. Oh, thanks so much, Ashley. on my hump jumper just so you know so that the stitches it's like super thick right here like I said it's like you can see my machine keeps going like backwards a little okay okay before I put this down I'm just gonna kind of move my needle like halfway in between the final stitch and where I'm at kind of makes it look even okay there we go 
This pocket's nice. These are bigger. The bigger pockets. That's, that's nice. I like it. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on there. I hate it when you put the thread through the other thread. Like it's in the middle of the threads. Threads? Does that make sense? It drives me bananas. Oh, you know what? We should have put a woven little bestie badge in there or something. Dang it. Too late now. I'm not doing that again. I need a little break from the 3D pockets. Happy Labor Day, Sandy. Welcome. Look at our 3D pocket. Oh, hold on. Let's take off the markings. Yeah, please. Oh. Although, if anyone wondered, this um, lavender butter from Whip and Warp does not seem to hold on to the uh, silver marking pen marks. So that's good. Oh, that looks great. Let's pop out our corners here. Let's see if I can zoom you back a little. Moving. We're on the move. Okay. Ooh, look at that curve. This is why I like butter right here, guys. See that? That's why. Right there. Every freaking time I use it, it's like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the best I've ever done. Okay. So we are, it looks pretty centered too. It doesn't look cattywampus. Maybe it was a good thing this was thicker because it doesn't stretch and move as much. I'm not sure. Okay, now we are going to, dang, look at that. Just how to admire that for a minute. I've never done that well. You guys are good luck. Thank you, Eve. So now we need our handles. And what we're gonna do on our handles, we're gonna just, well, I guess we'll get our pattern piece. If you get your pattern piece, and I hate to show a pattern piece on camera, but we need to basically mark out these boxes for where the webbing is gonna go. Now that I know it doesn't stay on the weft and warp butter, or at least lavender. Okay. That's where you're going to sew a box stitch. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks. So now we need to get the handles ready for this. Can you reference my notes here real quick? Make sure I'm on track. I almost spilled my entire coffee. I would have been so sad. Okay. It's 11. Mark centers 2.5 to the left and right. So, between the marks. Alright. So, we got our marks on there. Can you see them where we're going to put our. Yeah, you can. There you go. Set that aside for a minute. We're going to take our strap, find the center. You only need to really do this for one side. Don't cut because we're... Um... <clears throat> okay. And then you're going to do two and a half inches from that center mark on the right and left. Just a little mark. I'm using my air racing marker. Okay. See that? We're going to fold the handle together. I'm going to use a little double stick tape. I'm going to put it right down the middle here. Between those two markings. Well, yeah, the two exterior markings. Now, fold these together. Okay. 
I guess I should have put this along the, one of the edges, not in the middle, the two. So we're going to sew in between each end mark. Okay, just put a clip where you're going to stop. Oops, sorry. So just sew along this edge, you can back stitch. I'm gonna do this one real quick. This will be for the back panel. This webbing is definitely thicker. It's like super sturdy and good. It makes it a little difficult to fold. There we go. Speech the other way. Alright, let's go ahead and sew between the clips. I'm gonna back stitch. And I'm going to do it with a four and a half stitch. You could just pull your threads through to the interior if you wanted and try to do that. I'm not going to. I'm just stitching along the edge here. little button piece of faux leather or like a grasper handle cover. If that's your jam. Tails. Okay, now pick a handle, get your front. And you are going to do two centimeters, which is one and three quarter. You're going to fold this over one and three quarter. You're folding up to the one and three quarter mark. Okay. 
ten, maybe. Put a little too much on the other side. So now we are going to attach this on this front in this box right here, okay? And just line it up and stitch it on. I never know like quite the right way to do a box stitch. Like where do you start, where do you stop? I am going to backstitch. Okay, just looking here, it looks like I need to go till about the edge of this purple stripe. So I'm going to just keep it at four and a half stitch length. And just try to go slow. Let me try to think how I'm going to box this out. I can never remember how it goes. gonna basically be a double sewn line. Just gonna pop down the top, I guess. Yeah. I hope you like sound effects. Sound effects me. So I probably should mention that you um, you want the not raw edge, you know, that one pointing to the outside, to your outside of your panel. All right, let's go ahead and do the other one. We won't be doing this on the back because we're going to have that cover that goes over our straps and so that's not even an issue. It's just this one that you're going to see. Okay, it looks like we're going to go until right before the green stripe. There. 
At least this isn't so big that I'm having trouble putting it under my throat here. Put our name plate on and then we're home. Whenever it does this, I know it's going to pop fast. Usually that's when I have a crank. Singe my little ends that are. So there's your handle. That's nice. Enjoying that nicely. Cute. We're gonna add our nameplate right here. So let me do that. I'm going to get some Therafuse. It's self-adhesive. Ooh, I needed to stand up. Ooh, my legs. It's a long time sitting. I think we might need to take an intermission here. Okay. So this is Therafuse. It's very similar to the foam. Um, I'm just getting a piece of it to put on the back. It does not come with this clear backing. Um, now it comes with the paper backing. So I'm basically going to fuse this right here on the other side. Okay, right here. And this will just make it, see this little plastic comes off. It's all sticky again. Put it right about there. It's like a super thin fleece almost, like that, okay? Just gives it a little support. So, this is my logo. What is she called? Exactly. This is called the Taken Aback Template. This is a different shape, but it's basically the same thing. And you could cut out different shapes. I think I put another one over here. Yep, there it is. You kind of need this to mark out your center so you can center your logo. How nice is that? Okay, first thing we're going to do is sew this onto our. Um, exterior. Then we'll cut our holes for our hardware, our slits or whatever. Okay, you're going to want to kind of center this here. Let's see if we can measure it. Let's see, from this corner it's two and seven eighths. From this corner it's two and about right there is where we want it. I'm going to move it up a little. Okay. I'm just going to peel off the backings here of my double stick tape. I'm just trying to keep it straight off of the uh, pocket here. Yeah. 
All right, now we're gonna top stitch around the edges of this. I'm gonna use a four and a half stitch length. You're not gonna back stitch because you're gonna pull your threads through. Don't start on a corner because that's suicide. Okay, don't do that to yourself. Mm -hmm. It probably would look good up here too, but this is a little too wide for that, so. It's like maybe I'm a little off center. Up your presser foot and look. There we go. So I put the fair fuse on the back of that for the um, metal hardware so it doesn't go through the exterior panel. Not that it would, but maybe with wear over time it might. I'm not sure. It just is something else to help. You can do deck of a light. I just feel like deck of a light you would see like the outline and imprint in this stuff because it's self-adhesive. It's just like easy. You know? So you could have edge painted this. But you know, you gotta kind of draw the line. At some point, there's too much I feel I could do for what I could get for it. And then we get all these for craft fair. And that's a totally cool of it. But I'm just hoping my iPad Pro fits in here. I might have to keep it if it does. Although I would ideally like purse feet on mine. I'm not gonna add them on this. Okay, we just ended in the hole we began in, okay? We did not backstitch. And now we will pull our threads. Here, can you see that? I think we can. Pull our threads to the back. Cinch those. Okay. Look at that. It looks pretty dang good, doesn't it? I almost did this for the front pocket and stuff. I should have. Now I have regrets, but I didn't know how these were going to go yet. So, all right. Now we can find our center. Or I'm just going to put the template on top using a silver marking pen. Mark the lines. It's gonna be hard to see because this is like a cluttered vinyl. Mark your center. I don't even know if that marked. Okay. Not very well. I can see it, you probably can't. All right, good to our hardware. If you want a supplier name for these, let me know. You can just message me. And these usually do not fit perfectly in the center, I think. Let's see. Okay. So we'll do these holes here. So one one. One, 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 one,
just line this up on the margins that you can't see. One, and there's two. Now I'm going to take, it's trash day, so you might hear my trash truck. I'm going to take my, I have this really cool tool from Tulip Me. It's this. It's dangerous. see them but I can see these little marks here watch your fingers and then you just poke a hole through and it should go through all of it here okay Can wipe off your silver markings. And that should be perfectly centered. And it is, see? That looks nice. Where is my there it is? I'm gonna fold this out since I have the there uh on there. Now get a piece of duct tape or something and cover these so that they don't run through the uh, lining over time. And now we are done with the front panel. There, just like that. Okay front panel is done. So we are going to, since our front panel is done, I'm going to move you again because I got to put you in the charger. So we're going to attach our foam. Right here. And we're going to baste on the lining. Since I'm not putting anything special on the lining for the front. over. Get your little seam roller if you want. This is unnecessary, but if you wanted to. Thanks, Ashley. I appreciate anyone watching. I'm just sewing and you guys are hanging out, so I was going to make this regardless. I thought, well, maybe my friends want to see. I appreciate the watch hours. Um, that is just so, so dang cute. Look at that. I mean, pro fash. Yeah, this is a level up pocket technique for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, so we got our foam on there. I think it's pretty well adhered. Yeah, this is Fabric Therapy's webbing, the pastel. I'm in my pastel era, so. All right, we're gonna get a lining and let's baste it onto here. Okay. 
I'm just gonna clip, 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 clip. Move the clips over here. Let's be efficient about it. Sorry, I'm standing up. My legs need a break. Oh, my legs are they swell if I sit too long without standing. Not like crazy swell, but enough that I notice, you know. I am gonna have to take a, an intermission here for a little bit. Like three minutes. But you could add, like, a zipper pocket here if you wanted. Um, you could do a slip pocket for a cell phone on this side if you wanted. I'm going to add a slip pocket to the other side. The pattern piece does come with a fold line. My metal tags. Um, if you want to message me, my name is Amber McLean. I'll look for you in my message request folder on Insta on Facebook. Or you can in uh, message me on Instagram. It's the crafty reporter the dot crafty dot reporter and i can send you the link i got them from ali baba um and this lady has a good reputation in the bag making community and her stuff's amazing okay there we go is the foam in the seam the foam is not in the seam, and I don't have to worry about it shifting either because it's stuck like Chuck, right? Gosh, that is just um, too cute for words. What is it called? Okay, I need the word. I need the name for this. When you like think something's so cute that you just want to like not literally squeeze it to death, but you're just like, eee! that's a word, right? It's got to be a word. All right, I'm going to baste the lining. To the exterior my stitch length is five back stitch just try to stay at an eighth of an inch for basting so that you when you attach the dust you're good you know you know what you're doing so so far i think this could be an advanced beginner slash intermediate um, as long as you use the appropriate materials. So if you're an advanced beginner, just do like all open. That'd be nice. Or just waterproof canvas with woven interior. I would probably interface the woven with some light interfacing, like, you know, SF 101's equivalent, whatever your preferred brand is. There's a bajillion of them out there. Um, Fabric Therapy even makes one that's uh, a self-adhesive woven interfacing boat. Okay, we're doing great. And we already marked our center, so that's perfect. This will be ready for the best day. I think next we'll do the back. And then we will do the gussets. So we're going to do the back. We're going to have to do the lining slip pocket too. Oh, this foam is just such a good feel, you know? It's like structure without... Too much structure because it, it is like it will be I don't know how to just what I'm thinking of the words here it's a soft structure oh Ashley please do the bubble Angela yes Kim I got my labels from Angela I forget the name of her actual company i can't really pronounce it anyways but um 
Stacy's gonna start on her first Erica Bowler today. Man, is that a great bag. Wow, actually, the, I've only made one of those and I need to make another because I love that bag. Ashley, please make the bubble. Poor Favor, because I want to make the bubble, I just wanted to make this more. And um, Sarah Merriam does let you do tutorials. FYI, I would launch you. Okay, this is done. I mean, this is a wham bam, thank you ma'am. I did leave the plastic on here. Why do I do that? Because I save it, I take pictures when I take it off, and I put it back on to sell. I don't think I can sell this though. I'm just gonna be, I can't believe I made this. What? What? That just blew my mind a little. Feels like when I made the heartbreaker all over again. You asked her, she said, go for it. Yeah, do it, Ashley, please. The bubble's so cute, so cute. Okay, let's do the back panel. Get your back, find your centers. You're gonna need you to find your centers to attach your gusset. Cause the final step is the big old gusset. I'm actually loving this camera angle right here. This is so good. There we go. All right, I'm gonna see, where's my thing? We're gonna look at it now. See those straps? Um, yeah, look, I know it is. I wish you would make the pastel with the black again. I literally would be doing, willing to do almost anything for that. <laughs> I only have a little bit and I'm hardcore hoarding. Like, I'm like, girl, this better be. I would use it for a bag like this. Actually, I would make another one and maybe for myself with the. Now I gotta figure out how much to charge for this dang thing. That's my least favorite part. So these have all the marks, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, good. That's awesome, Cindy, that you stand to walk more. Me too. So this has to be yours. Why don't you come to my prop and buy it, and then you, I can put you to work. <laughs> okay, I'm going to find the centers of this thing. I'm literally just going to use a silver marking pen. Where? I swear, the silver marking pen is what I lose the most. That's my fun fact. I'm just gonna find the center of it. It is seven and a half wide. Seven and a half. So four and three. No. Three and three. Three and three quarters. Yep. Three and three quarters. the centers on those so the glue stick worked well so that's all that's just glue stick besties that's all it is don't worry about these little marks you should probably put under a book be better these will go away though. i'm looking at her ig is it the backpack crossword Leslie? karen yeah the bubble bag is it looks like a bubble if you join her patreon If you join Sarah's Patreon, you get her past patterns too, FYI. We found out, didn't we, Ashley? We did. Okay, we're going to attach our... Let's find our little boxes. Okay, you're gonna let two centimeters hang over. We do not fold. So, get your, et your ends of your, where's your handle, where's my handle? 
where'd it go? It does get overwhelming. Um, I think I got bit by a real bad spider. I have a real, real big spot on my leg. Like, it's like lime sized. That's not good. Two centimeters is one and three quarters. So put a little sticker tape on this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We don't want it to. There, yeah, that's the way we want it. There are a lot of great sewing patterns. Also, I'm in my sewing hack era, so I like to hack patterns. Who am I? Okay, this is gonna hang over one in a, um, hold on. Seven, one and three quarters, is that two centimeters? Oh, not one and three quarters, three quarters, silly. Okay, I put double stick tape on that, so. Boom. This side, do the same. I'm slowly trying to memorize this because it would be able to open up my pattern access if I could do the other. Okay, you know what she does too. She draws like a line. This is good. I put the tape on there. She didn't do the tape. I think she does masking tape. Okay, there's that. I am going to draw a line where the end of the box is, so three quarters. This will be underneath the, uh, so that's the end of the box here, do you see? So right here, I just continued the line. I like that. So that's that. Now we need to put our... Um, straps. So, like this, and then like this. Do you see? Put them at an angle. You could cut these as well. Um, I'm just, this is all she does. She makes it go like this in touch. So let me put a little tape on here. She just like goes to town. She just sewed like a bunch of zigzags to attach. <laughs> Which I was like, dang, I guess it doesn't matter. I think for the angle, we're just gonna go corner to corner. Like that, maybe? What do you think? I think that's maybe too much, really. Let's do it more like that. I wish I knew the right angle, but I think that'll be okay. Clip, clip. Okay. Hers looks like it's closer together in my picture that I drew. I wonder, I think I need to move these in maybe. No, that's not true. Disregard that because I don't want that because then it will be too close together. It might bother your neck. I think this looks pretty good. Let's see. I'm going to measure and make sure. This part on her videos, she doesn't really give that much direction. So, I'm gonna do this. Measure from the point. Okay, one and five eighths. One and five eighths, perfect. All right, well that's centered at least. So we're just gonna sew a couple lines and zigzag around. Then we'll take this and we'll put this on top and then we just sew this on. Isn't that nice? I'm looking now. I'm thinking this angle's too out. So let's 
make it more in. I'm glad I checked. That would have been good. If it was too severe, you know. Just trying to center these guys. I'll make them even. So it's one and an eighth. There, that should be even. Now let's see how that looks coming out of there. Oh, that's better, I think. What do you think? All right, just sew these down. They're going to be behind the cover anyway, so. Well, but this is what she did. Oh, look at my thread. I'm trying to be a little bit of a but that's what she does. I feel like it would work. It would work great. Because you're still going to put the cover on it, you know. Okay. So, let's get this guy. I'm going to put a big old fat piece of double stick tape here. I am going to keep this stuff out of the seam allowances because it is strong. Also, I was thinking, she doesn't use rivets, so I don't know if rivets aren't really a thing she likes, or not really what they use in her community, but I thought, maybe I should even rivet this, I don't know. Where do we put this here? She never really gives, um, she says I can't really tell you where to put this, because it depends on your how everything shakes out so this one we're gonna wing it I'm gonna try to center it I kind of want it Let's see how far down this is Bottom, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half. 
inches. And then I can kind of center this better. Make sure it's straight. There we go. All right, now we can top stitch. And yeah, and you can see the marks already coming out. That is what's nice about the butter is it, the marks don't stay on. Okay, don't start on a corner. Hi, Jenna. You're actually not at the tail end. <laughs> I know it would seem that way, but... Well, we're almost done with the exteriors. We're almost done. We're, we're getting there. I didn't backstitch because I'm going to pull through to the other side. I'm really loving this idea. I haven't done a pattern with something quite like a shaped thing like this. That's nice. I would say it's a keeper. Got me make, wanting to make a bubble bag, actually. I'm throwing clips over here. There's so many clips, it's not even sticking anymore. Perhaps we have an issue. string to the back. I mean, we can add a rivet just for decoration. Do we feel like being decorative? Final stitch is not going to fit, so I'm just going to make it go halfway between my last stitch and my first stitch. Oh, I love this. I love it. Okay, let's pull this. Thanks, Karen. I appreciate it. I'm gonna do any with it. This isn't like a bag that's gonna be having 20 books in it. It's smaller, so probably I would maybe on the large size. This is the medium, so. All right, so look at that. I'm just gonna roll these guys up a little. Well, that's very pleasant to look at. So let's get our bottom straps and our strap anchors. So go ahead and 
gonna take an end here and we're gonna fold this right sides together. We're gonna have to make, well, I guess it doesn't really matter because there's no right and wrong side. She also doesn't say how much to make this go through, so we're gonna do a half inch. And we are going to sew, I did write down this seam allowance. Three eighths inch. Okay, so sew this with a three eighth inch. And we're gonna back stitch. You're also gonna do a second line of stitching um, right inside the seam allowance on the webbing just to keep it sturdy. And then what we're gonna do is trim just around this. That makes sense to you. This little seam allowance. Don't trim the webbing, just the. Just the vinyl. Alright, pull that down. Okay. And trim this on an angle so you keep this out of your seam allowance. This was in her video. I was like, yeah, that's good. I mean, you might want to keep it in your seam allowance, but we're going to do a rivet on it. Okay. Now, we're going to sew around all these corners, or all the edges, a top stitch. So, let's go. I'm going to keep it at 4.5 for a top stitch. Just because it is such a small connector. And I'm going to do a second round of stitching. Um, just on these, like a quarter inch away. A quarter inch from the edge. do a rivet because I cut out my webbing out of the way anyway so it kind of defeats the purpose of the rivet unless you just want to be fancy which if you want to be fancy then you be fancy okay there's one we're gonna do the same thing again overhang so it with three inch smalls do a second stitching Right inside the seam allowance again. Trim 
trim your vinyl just around the edge of this. Okay. Pull this down. Trim this away. Now, if it matters to you what side's top stitched, like if your bottom stitching isn't as nice as your top stitching. Um, so this one's gonna go here, like this. So this one is the opposite, right? It's like this. Can you see that? So I'm gonna top stitch on this way. It's like opposite of that, okay? It's a little different than the, I think. Maybe I'm just crazy, but I think that's right. Okay. Oh, this one didn't quite make it at a quarter inch. Oh well. Still cute. Okay, now we're going to baste these on right before the curve begins, okay? So. make sure they're even. That would be horrible if you made one higher than the other, right? Okay. It's basically two inches up. One and a half. One and a half inches up from the bottom is where you're going to this up onto the side. We are done with the back um, for now. We'll do the straps when we are almost done. Just gonna roll these up. Okay. We can put our foam on now. Um, I guess I shouldn't have rolled those up yet. We're gonna do the slip pocket real quick for the interior liner, and then we'll base that off. And then we'll work on our gussets and attach them.
Hold on. Shouldn't have rolled them yet. Wait to roll them until after you attach your interfacing. This does become where it's pretty hard to pull up after you adhere it down, so just kind of tuck it until you're sure. Where's my roller? Limp Biscuits running through my brain right now. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Do you remember that song from middle school, anyone? You have the same squeaky roller? Yeah. <laughs> Violet Crafts. Good old Amazon special. Okay, there we go. So our back is done. You could add a cool um, cork label or something back here. If you don't have a metal bag tag, that'd be cool. Cork would have been cool in the front too. There's so many options. You know what I should have freaking done? A woven label right here. Yep, that's what I should have done. That's not what it did. Sorry, I bumped your face. Okay. There's that. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We are going to do that, bestie. Let's make our slip pocket real quick. Set this aside. Now, what I was considering for the slip pocket was um, to put some foam in between it and make it more like a. But I don't want to take away too much from what you can fit in there, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to. I'm going to sew this with a half inch seam allowance, right sides together. Size four and a half stitch length. You should use four and a half for attaching things. Sometimes they do for top stitch from detailed stuff or small corners. I did try to match up these stripes so that when this is basted onto the lining, hopefully we matched them good. This is just the best thickness of waterproof canvas, I swear. Easy to fold, easy to sew. All right, top stitch at a five. If you wanted to add a cute, um, like, cover over this and then put a little woven label, that's cute too. I'm hoping you can read. I don't think my iPad will fit in this bag. Unfortunately, so I might need to just make the big one. Alright, get your lining. Where is it? Focus. This. And you should pattern match. If you're extra and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Did it. Ooh. Okay. We're just gonna base this on real quick. Actually, we don't really even, you can make this a divided one if you wanted. She does on the large one, I think maybe. But I'm just gonna leave it open. I'm not gonna divide it. If I was gonna do a divider line, I'd probably do the trim and then put a, like a ribbit here, like a little cutie. But I'm just going to base this on and backstitch. So 
I think what I'll do is I'll make the large and then turn this into more of a, uh, maybe add a, add a snap tab and turn it into a, an electronic sleeve, like a, not a, I'm going to make it an iPad sleeve. And then I'll add a slip pocket on the front one too. And I'll put that for my cell phone. I mean a slip pocket on the lining that is on the back side of the front. So I'll make this one that goes to the back panel an electronic sleeve. And then I'll make another one that'll be for my phone. I think that will be most useful. I don't, honestly, I don't usually use the little, uh, zipper things inside purses and stuff. I really just don't use it. Okay, there's that. Get your exterior. Exterior back. And line these up. We're going to base these together. Yeah, this foam is legit. I am actually going to invest in some of this big amount. And I just want to give, is your name just Sarah? Or is it Sarah Marion? I want to just keep calling you Sarah, but I'm like, maybe her name is actually Sarah Marion, though. I just want to give you kudos for creating a pattern and then publishing it in another language than your native language. You're just amazing. And your English is great on your videos. I know that it might be something that you worry about, but you do a great job. You really do. Like, I'm enjoying you very much. Oh, you know what I was going to do? Too late now. Break. Oh, well. My woven label. I forgot it. The one that says um, self-care. I was going to put it like right here, but I already attached it. Okay. Let's base this on. We've got to be getting close on our bobbin. This is probably a three bobbin bag for sure. So we still gotta find the. All right, 
there we go. So we have our back panel done. Your Kindle for sure fit in there. Definitely. All right, get your zipper panels. We're gonna make our zipper. After we make these, I must take a restroom break. Maybe also shove something in my mouth. Cause I am hungry. Okay, get two zipper poles. And you're gonna install them. <clears throat> each other. The other one, double pull. Take an exterior. Double stick tape. Okay. I think you can see that. Now I'm going to do a quarter inch seam allowance for my zipper. Um, I probably should do three eighths, but. I don't want to change my foot. Hopefully I don't regret that. Oh, dang it, I probably should just do three. So. I don't think she says what. Um, this is gonna hang over because I did too much. And then you're going to lay the lining on top, right side down. Like this. Making a sandwich. switching out to my zipper foot real quick. I should just put on the thin foot, but I'm not used to it and then my stitches are a little bit wonky with it and I don't like that. So. This is about there. 4.5. Like I haven't taken a break yet, I know. I know, Karen. The sticky foam is from fabric therapy they should be having some soon if they don't have it on pre-order right now i think she i don't know you have to go to her website for her group and find out i'm coming up on the pole i don't have videos totally late and can't stay look for watching for later you'll be you'll be watching a whole work shift's worth <laughs> so long four hours well it doesn't kick you off at four hours if you ever wondered but to be honest i'd be sitting here sewing this long anyways i probably have more snack breaks but uh, i was making this bag today or seems like a shame to use such beautiful thread on something you'll never see. I always think about that like, um, I don't like that. <laughs> I wish I could just switch out to ugly thread for the, you know. 
Like what a waste of fairy floss to be the base stitch. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna plot stitch now. Um, Alright, this is why I hate using it for foot. I basically need to. Yeah, I agree, Stacy. But the thing is, if my okay, so I'm I'm experimenting for all of us. Um, I don't know that this will be then too wide for the gusset, and then I've got to try to trim down a little from each side to make it match, and that drives me bananas. So. I'm gonna see, this is at 3 8 inch, and if this is as wide as the gusset, then we know doing a quarter, you're probably gonna have to be a trimmer, you know? And I am not about that trimming. I'm just top stitching now. here on the end of the zipper if you want to like have a little clip for something I don't know. you could do a swivel clasp I'm just it out. I'm not sure what you put but you can put stuff put your foot down pull your zippers out of the way this zipper tape matched pretty dang good for the stripes I literally had just enough for this bag. I don't even know where I got it from. So if you know where this is from, let me know. Cool. All right, we're gonna repeat this process on the other side. And then after we do this, we'll find the centers and trim off the excess. Oh, awesome, Stacy. Yeah, I wanted some company while I sewed to you. I was gonna do it anyway, so. And then maybe this video will help somebody if they want to make it and they need more of the uh, measurements in the English, in the American conversion or something, I don't know. Although, I understood totally what she was teaching, so. How did I just lose my tape? Did I not just have my tape? Hmm. I just, oh, here we go. My toxic, toxic trait is I lose things two seconds after using them. Sometimes you will switch for construction if you think they might show in the same I don't get that. So I think I'm behind reading the comments, so I'm not understanding. Oh, look at that. We're going to be extra, extra and make sure these stripes match up. about the basing stitch colors. Oh, that's what you're talking about, the thread. Dwee. Okay. Also, this panel is just, just a little bit longer. How weird. Okay. Yeah, I've never switched threads for constructing. I this sounds like a lot. Much 
and baste stitch. So I'm doing a little less than three eighths, like not even a, like a sixteenth. Three-eighths inch seam allowance is just not my favorite, honestly. I like a quarter. I'm a quarter. And it's really because I'm lazy because my edge of my foot is a quarter. For those of you that don't know, um, go follow Elizabeth's accounts, her TikTok and her Instagram, I know for sure. And she makes such fun videos. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Let's top stitch, let's go. Oh, son of a biscuit baker. See, it didn't... If I ever do teach a sewing class, not like SME or something, I better pick a pouch. <laughs> At this rate, girlfriend. Oh, goodness. Oh. Reach to your top stitch line. see the zipper pretty nicely. At least my foot fits right in the ditch. Man, that little tassel I made is gonna look so cute dangling from the zipper. And it can kind of be like a little lock thing for the two zippers together, you know? It's fun. and trim up these the tape and then we can um baste these edges as well together if we wanted to i don't know what i did here i totally did not cut that the right length Just... so right now if you wanted you could add a like a swivel clasp Just sew it right here if you want a little you want to make this into crossbody for some reason i don't know why you would want to but if you wanted to you can do that this backpack would be super customizable because you could just omit these straps and just put like a circle ring right here and then just put like two d rings here and then you can make it you know then put two d rings here and then it can be a convertible that's fun all right let's see if these are as wide as our Okay, so takeaway is it's pretty, it matches pretty good with a scant three eighth inch. So if you want to trim, you could do that. But now we're gonna, I know I said I was gonna put a bathroom break, but I'm just gonna just do a little bit more, okay? Take your bottom, 
You don't want your lining. I'm getting close to being done. That's why I was like, yes. Um, find your center on your bottom, your base. I'm going to need this for final construction. Also, is Decoville heavy hard to find in your city? My city, it's always so hard to find. Like, what are you people using this for? Okay, so here is where you got to pay attention because you're going to... Well, you can just rotate it around, I guess. It doesn't matter right now. Just push your pocket up out of the way. And we're going to sew these together. I think it's a 3 8 inch. We're going to check right now. Sorry, I'm just reading my written notes. Okay, 3 8 inch seam allowance. So this is kind of hard. You might want your zipper foot for this because this pocket's kind of in the way and my pocket is thick. So we are going to change out our foot. Poop and zipper. Why a zipper? Well, because I'm making it close. This way. careful because of your pocket here, but it's totally doable. We're doing good. Also, when I take an intermission, I'm going to change my air conditioner to colder because I'm sweating. And then we'll probably have to wind up another bobbin. I didn't, I thought two would be enough. It's not. Okay, there's one. That's your other pocket. So when you attach these right sides together, now your zipper should be um, both facing front or the same direction at least. Do you see that? That's great. Okay, let's do the same for this one. pockets. They can't really fit underneath my arm very well. Okay. The butter is so thick it doesn't want to... There we go. <clears throat> okay. So definitely do not move your side pockets to the center of the side panel because you need this for the to attach this part. You need that uh, enough. You need the three quarter inch seam allowance. Oh, good! You got coupons. That's great. Okay, now you're gonna. Press your seam allowance towards the base and top stitch on the base. Oh, 
is so cool. Like a really like Lauren's roses in an embroidery file, and then like I could embroider the deck of a light onto the bag in a cool design. I mean, I could try to draw it, but wouldn't that be nice? Just an extra little cutie pop there. Okay, so we have that. We're gonna do the same with the lining in the sides because she says in her video to make sure that they're the same length. So, find your centers. I just cut my toe off. This is the base, but the lining. going to change to a regular foot. Oh, great. I'm glad you got his iPad. That's wonderful. Okay, so this is the base. These are the sides. Line up the sides, and we're going to sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, okay? This angle's okay. I think it is. I don't see anything. So. I can see why um, Kasaya is always like, I'm gonna try this angle. You never know. reading my notes really quick. What's in it? Okay, you're gonna open the seams on the lining. She says do not top stitch. I don't know why, but we're gonna listen. So she does this. There's that. Now we gotta make sure these are both the same length, she says. I'm gonna pro you probably won't be able to see this all the way. All right, these two are now even. Mm, yep, the same length, perfect. Now we're gonna take our, I'm gonna take a drink, that's what we're gonna do. these together right here and you just got to open up your zipper and really push it out of the way this is going to come close so we're probably going to need our zipper foot again so go ahead and clip this mm, we'll, zip, we'll sew it this way and oh yeah my zipper lines right in the middle of that that's perfect This is going to be cutting it close. So hopefully I don't tank this. It did seem like it was pretty close. Maybe I need to... Well, I can't do it at a quarter inch seam allowance because I'll need the right gusset measurement. Okay, so these are right sides together. And then take your lining and 
lay this down on top of that. So it's a sandwich. Might want some tape, maybe. Clips are good. Okay. We're gonna sew this with, it says a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So I'm, I'm hoping so. And it says we top stitch on the pocket side. Repeat on the other end. I don't really know what I meant when I wrote that. So. I need to just put on my narrow foot and just do a bag with it and I'll be used to it. It would make it easier than changing out all the time. Okay, push this pocket out of the way. Don't be afraid to get aggressive. Get aggressive with it. Three eighth inch. Oh, it'll fit fine. Just wanted to make sure we weren't sewing over our fancy pockets, you know? Oh, we're getting close, but... We're making do. Hold on. I wish I was left-handed right now, but I'm not. I, mean, I think I just need to use my other zipper foot that is facing the other way, but I don't. I learned on this way. I only ever had this one until I bought the other one, and I'm like, mm, I think I was learning on the wrong. All right. And it says we're supposed to top stitch right down here. Uh, how, how is that gonna work? I don't think we're gonna top stitch that. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna let that go. That's a little too close. I think it's because my, this part is super thick, right? That's four layers. I think it's taking away from being able to top stitch right here. Well, maybe we can make it work. I hesitate to even try this because do I really need to top stitch this? No, I don't. I'm gonna try. I guess. Yeah, freaking. Me. I might regret this. We'll see. did it. Perfect. So I'm going to a little pocket here. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe I made this, to be honest with you. That's when you know you got a winner, right? When you're like, whoa. Whoa, my friend. All right, unzip your other pocket. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're just completing the gusset ring. Please, Ashley say, that's the only zipper foot I can use too. I, and I have them both. Are you right-handed, Ashley? I don't know, I just always learned with this one. And then after I got the other one, I'm like, wait, maybe that one was really the, this is like the, for the left-handed people maybe more? I don't know. That's just how I do it. No, that's better for like gussets because then you can run the gusset or, you know. Anyways, that's what I, I always think. I think that's wrong. All right, we're going to flip this liner down and around. Okay. And we're almost ready to attach these to the front and back panels. I'm super excited. This is like the best part. It's such like a natural high, right? You're just like, break yeah. I freaking made that. And then I love making pictures. Ah, pictures. All right, three eighths inch. Yeah. Hmm. It 
it's so funny. A suggested video for me on my iPad is like a painting one, and it's like five hours long with just somebody painting, so I think we're okay with long back making. All right, three eighth inch seam allowance again. I mean, this is basically like maybe a painting. are coming through. What is this sticking on? What is your issue? So I am very, very, very glad I did not use Decibel Light personally because it would have been crinkled all the hell by now, if I'm being honest. Yeah, because the foam doesn't wrinkle, you know. See, I have Decaville Heavy down here, and I'm, like, nervous. Okay, we're going to top stitch this. Careful of the Decaville. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Where are we at here? Oh, okay. 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 We're over here. Here we are. Here we are. All right, pull that down nicely. All right, let me just make sure this is folded down nicely. So this pocket does work okay if you have the uh, zipper foot or thin foot to go down along it. For the top stitch, I mean. Like, I thought the seam allowance might be too little, but it's not. And if you don't do four layers of vinyl like me, you'll be fine. I bumped you with my head, I think. I bumped your face with my head. And I got a pro tip for you. When you're pulling your makes out from underneath your needle, watch the needle so you don't run it across your vinyl and make a big, big scratch. Ask me how I know. I've done it so many times and it's so depressing. I know. Okay, make sure your seams are open to your... Okay, so here's our gusser ring. Can you see that? I think you can. Okay, mm -hmm. we're, we're gonna, this keeps tripping me out. Oh, you know what? Because I didn't top stitch this down. Somehow this was out of the way when I top stitched. What a fool, what a fool. Okay, whatever, nobody cares. <clears throat> okay, find your centers. Your centers. Almost want a sticker that says find your center. Hashtag sewing. Clip a little bit. Oh my gosh, all these seams are lining up so nicely. Oh, we already have the bottom center stuff. I just need the top centers. Okay. We're going to take a break. I just need three minutes. And then we'll attach the front and back on. And do all that jazz. We're going to do the... It doesn't really matter what we do first. We'll probably just do it back. I need a sign that says intermission. <laughs> so if somebody pops on, they can see like. She'll be right back. I'm just gonna clean up a little here since we're done with the majority of this. 
We're gonna need our tassel for later and our slider rectangles to finish our straps. Okay. I'm gonna end the game and swing under you. So much trash. My room is so messy. <laughs> My cat is gonna have a field day. The clips alone. for joining me. I'm actually almost done. I'm going to be attaching the front and back. I'm just running to the restroom really quick and making my air conditioner lower because whoa my hot. So I was thinking about it. I think we should baste these together. All the liners and exteriors. What do you think? I think we should. It makes it easier for the... I'm just turning it inside out to baste it. I can't baste with these big old pockets. On the bottom. That way these are pulled nicely. Let me get my regular foot. What time is it in New Zealand? We probably should have found a bottle. Bobbin one again. I knew that was gonna happen, didn't I? Did I not call it? If I would have just listened to myself and changed the bobbin. All right, I'm gonna wind another bobbin. One minute, please. Noisy, hopefully, you don't hear it too much.
I have a Juki 1181N. in the pocket because of the kind of pulling the um what do you call it the actual backing of the pocket in. I'm just trying to push it out there watch out for your decaville finicky little decaville line up this okay so my lining is slightly off from my pushing it down since the pocket gusset is kind of pulling the side exterior in I just wanted to like bag would be super cute with Percy though. Wish I would have kept with that thought and did it. your front. You're going to pull down your, let me scooch you back a little. So we're going to want the pockets facing forward closed. Okay. So that means we're going to have to attach the pockets with the zippers going towards it so that when it folds out, they'll be towards the outside. Okay. So zippers, facing the exterior panel. Get your bucket of clips. Clip your top. 
and your bottom markings for the centers. I am going to be sewing like this with the gusset on my machine bed. So I'm making sure my clips, you know, correspond accordingly. First, we're going to baste add an eighth inch seam allowance. Then we'll attach our binding and we'll do a quarter. Now, if this is too tight to fit, oh, see, first of all, get in there. What do you think you're doing? Get in there. Handle's gone wild. Not the time nor the place, man. I'm thoroughly enjoying this waterproof canvas colorway. Whoa. So far, I haven't had to make snips into my gusset. We'll see. It's a pretty nice, easy curve. Maybe those bottom corners might be a little bit of a B word, but. How does it feel like it's going to be super structured? It feels like it'll have structure, but not wrinkly structure. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like no ironing is what it feels like. It'll be structured for sure. I think the pockets add a lot of structure. So I honestly would not make this with Decaville light. I would do wherever she recommends the Decaville light or she does it. Like I didn't put anything on these top. And I just did the foam on the side pieces, Decaville Heavy on the bottom, and then foam in foam. Well, this back panel will have foam. And then I just put foam on these three pieces on the outside part only. So structure-wise, this is my preferred jam. And you're right, this gusset fits like a glove. I mean, could you have planned this any better? Dang, she is on the gusset game. I haven't had to make any snips into my... I really don't like to do that if I can avoid it. Sometimes you have to, though, but... After we do, after we attach the front and back panel, then we just have to make our straps really quick, like attach them to each other, but it'll be easy. And that way I am doing it different than how she does, did it. The way she did it didn't make sense to me. And it was kind of a smaller clip anyways. Um, so that being said, I'm doing it kind of how like Lauren does it on the beetle bug video. If you've ever watched her beetle bug video. Um, also the way that the Mayfield straps are made. I think those are the two backpacks I've made with straps like that. How we're going to do it. So my, my straps that I referenced in the beginning of this video, uh, the lengths are not the same as her pattern. I think that's the only thing I changed just cause I didn't get what she was doing. It didn't seem like it would work the right way for me. So there we go. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna switch over and we're gonna do our gusset game again, like we always do, okay? Okay, sorry, let me catch up. Looks like the gusset's, okay, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, is your lining waterproof canvas with Theratex? It's waterproof canvas. I always end up changing what my favorite um, base is. Okay, I'm moving you. Close your eyes. Um, I love Theratex, but I wanted to use some um, uh, I wanted to use some waterproof canvas because I just got this print and it matched good. Ashley, feels like that shit won't need to go in the dryer. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Did it end up working? So I'm going to keep my hand on the inside here. Can you see this? Yeah, I can. I keep my hand in here and I kind of just push along. What is that ring? How weird. How does it come? Oh, out. Oh, get out of my room. There's nobody here. I'm safe. Go. Go. Out. Go. 
sorry, my prescription started to pick up and that call came through. How weird. Um, hopefully I'm still live on here. Otter text. It's thinner than Otter text. It doesn't have like the, um, it doesn't have like the plasticky backing. It's, let me see what I have some here. And it's not as thick. It's a little bit thinner, but it does have some kind of coating on it. Um, focus camera. Do you see that? It's just, this is from Fabric Therapy. I just bought it, I just got here. It's not a plastic coating, but there's something on it. Um, yeah, that's the best I can tell you. Nancy probably has it on her website. If you go to, um, you can shop just by base and shop by waterproof canvas. And she usually has like all the details down below. Okay, so pick an area. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to bump your friend. You're welcome, friend. I'm gonna lift you up a little higher. I think that's good. That way I can use my wheel. Hopefully I won't really need to use my wheel too much. All right, I'm just gonna clip with my hemostats so that... Okay, we're just basting. Um, I'm still gonna do four and a half for attaching for my stitch length. So eighth inch seam allowance. I'm rotating the bag towards me as I'm going around this curve. This could be the only curve that gets a little difficult to sew, but it's not a super bad curve, so. Oh, dang. This, um, see how it's popping out here? That's weird. It's because of the pockets. So I'm going to pull on my gusset while I'm pulling the opposite way with my hemostats and then I'm going to clip it. There we go. front pocket if you can try to like pull it out of the way because it's a little bit in the way trying to sew this at least for my hand to try to fit and make sure I don't have wrinkles there we go to spend more money well if you need to wait she does usually have it in stock in various prints but i personally like the list doodles collection it's so nice I really enjoy besides the final turning of the bag really enjoy when you like sew a gusset on and then you like turn it out to check it I like that too
enjoy it when the zipper gus when the zipper gusset has vinyl on both sides of the zipper. It's a favorite of mine. Attaching just the zipper on there. Oh, that's kind of nerve wracking. Don't you think? rotating it with my hand. But this prevents the wrinkles. I don't have any pockets in the way now. You better watch out. Crazy driver coming through. I have a feeling my hands are going to be sore tomorrow. Which is not good because I have court all day. I'm just kidding. I could wait my whole life and I'd be fine. All right. Just coming up here. Man, wow, does that fit good. I mean, hats off to ya. That's amazing. Okay. Um, I'm going to trim any little extras that I have that popped around here. Oopsies. Okay. So, like, this little bit here. Okay, I have a little here. Uh, pretty good up here, I think. Outside I did it. Wow, amazing. What's this side? Okay. Oh, you have bad timing with fabric therapy. Do you have your notifications set to all for her group? That may help. All right, attach this where there's not a lot of bulk, okay? Don't go choosing chaos and doing it here. We're going to have them laughing over each other. And honestly, I'm going to do it up here because these pockets are kind of close and it's harder to sew up there. So we're just going to pick a little spot here. I'm going to do it just how I did it on the pockets. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, note to self, if you're using Decaville Heavy and you have drawing on it and stuff, you see that line through my white? Pick a piece of Decaville Heavy that you haven't previously drawn a wonky line on. That's something we learned together. I didn't even think of it. You won't be able to really see it, but... I wonder how much yards comes in a roll of this boundless. Hmm. Be interested to know that. Yeah, I totally do not even think you need a zipper gusset interfacing for up here. Like, nope, you don't need foam or nothing. I mean, you could do it. I think she does in her pattern, but. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, you're not on Facebook. Oh, that might be why, Karen. Let's see. There we go. Okay, I got my outside all on. I'm gonna do the same thing where I fold it in. And... So I was just tucking a little bit under and folding. And we're gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance. If you can manage it. I don't know without a pocket, if the pocket will let us do that, but we're gonna try. Maybe just like a scant. But remember this this stitch is gonna determine your shape of your bag, so you wanna be careful. And the reason I'm folding this under if you're new here is because I don't like it when it gets all ripply in the corners. Like if I did this, it'd be like wrinkly. Okay. So I thought, let me uh, just fold it over a little bit and see if it helps and it does. Okay, now for a fact, that is not going to be enough to sew. This stuff is sticky. This stuff is nice. You don't really even need to clip it, I don't think. It's really just more habit by this point. I'm trained. Ten yards. That's so nice. Well, I think I'm, yeah, I'm still definitely going to have some left over. Tammy sent this to me to test it. I like it. I like it better now that I have this little fold over trick to help with the wrinkling. I almost just did this for the outside, this waterproof canvas, but I didn't know how it would look with all the, uh, different pockets and gussets and all that, trying to line up the stripes. Plus, like a white bag, I don't know, that'd be hard to keep clean for me. Okay. We're gonna do a scant quarter inch, because I didn't this like exactly perfect but yes a weekend class retreat that would be right okay let's scooch you down there scooch you centered five hours for a bag yeah, that's, I mean maybe like two two and a half hour classes that'd be nice I'm gonna start over here on the top I'm going to keep it at four and a half because it's attaching it. It's actually our shape scant quarter. Just because. Come on. My binding doesn't quite go a quarter inch around the whole thing. Okay. Remember, this is the shape. pockets out the way. I should have unzipped my pockets. I 
can't see. I'm gonna move you in so I can move in because I can't see well enough. My glasses are not being my friend right now. One day I could teach at Lauren's new spot. It'd be so fun. I think I would cry that I'd be so happy. I cannot afford to go to the wizardry retreat. First, my judge has too much stuff all the time that it would be hard to get in to like go there and get a ticket. <sighs> I wish. Maybe one day. All right, I'm just gonna move you here. Can we just take a minute to um, appreciate this? Oh, look at that. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. We're going to just push it out and check. And because this is just foam, it's fine. Let's check it. Oh, wait. This is not foam on the bottom, though. <laughs> Dang, Decaville. Why you gotta be so rude? Ugh. Definitely get the foam, Ashley. Okay, we're gonna have to do this right here because I can see a little bit of stitching there, okay? I think we got all the stitching everywhere else, though. Look at that, bro. Look at it! Oh, the profile. Okay, we can't cheat. We can't cheat. Just unzip the pockets. Don't cheat yet. No cheating. Okay. So what corner was it? Not that one. This one. Push it through. Oh yeah, you can see. Look. Oh, it's out of stock. Okay, she's come. She's getting it soon then, because I had talked to her just recently about this. So we're gonna just make this straight right here, okay? Because she, I don't know what, what happened there. Okay, there we go. See how it's like structured, but it's like I don't know how to describe it. It's structured, but not too structured. The pockets really add a lot. Crap, what pocket was the bad one now? 
this one. Okay. So we're going to come over here and just sew right here. I also unzip the pocket so it should be a little easier. Okay. Here we go. There we go, that's good. Line it up with the other stitches. There we go. Check that corner again. I think that'll fix it though. Spider happy now on me. Alright. I'm just gonna check this one. Let me rock you out here. Alright, see? We got it now. No threads popping through right here. Okay. The duck of a light, try not to bend it, but it's okay if we do, because we can iron it from the inside with my little mini cricket iron. Okay. Get in there. Those are unzipped. Mm, we're gonna unzip these halfway because we don't want to catch that in our seam allowance. These little. All right, now we're gonna get the back and pop it on. Let's see if that's good. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you can see that, right? Okay. Tuck all your straps in and your centers. Just literally doing what we just did again. Although I will say, using this bound list or any self adhesive um, binding does take one pass around the gusset out of the equation. And I am all for that. This is a little thick right here where my connector is just because it pokes over too. So I'm just gonna trim it a little. Mush your pockets down. The wizardry retreat is in Texas, I think. Uh, far, far away from me. If it was in my state, I'd go. So Badgical is going to be in Las Vegas, Nevada. Next year, I will be there for sure. Push your pocket down. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm going to trim this just a little right here. Crazy job from last week. No, my trial's over. I can tell you about it. There's my dog on cue. Yeah, the heat and bond foam would work just fine. It's just not as easy to use when you gotta get out your heat press or whatever. This one, you just pull off the back and stick it down. She is having a shipment soon, I promise you.
it's a newer product she just got too. I think she did a big um, pre-order and then probably now it's retail after she fulfills pre-orders. It's usually how she does it. She gets enough. And she'll open another pre-order usually if it, the need is high. You know. Let's see that's this. Okay, there you go. That fits perfectly again. Okay, so I'll tell you about this trial. Okay, guys, two more swipes around this thing, and we are freaking home free. My back is killing me. All right, we're going to start up here where it's thinner. Five-hour video. This is just silly. Okay, so my trial was, hey, man, I was walking in a grocery store. And unzip your... Unzip this so you can put your hands in the bag to help you for wrinkles. Okay, so the man was walking in a grocery store. <clears throat> An umbrella. He was in the frozen food aisle. You know the patio umbrellas? He they had a bunch of patio this grocery store had a bunch of patio umbrellas. Opened up and, and like set up on top of the freezer in the frozen food aisle, okay? He went to go open the freezer to buy burritos. So we found out. And when he opened the door, one of the umbrellas fell and hit him on the head. He says that the umbrella tip, the very top pointy part, hit him on the head. We don't really, you can't really see from the surveillance video footage, it wasn't too clear. Um, like which, I'm just pushing my pocket out of the way, it kind of got caught in front of my foot. You can't really tell from the footage, like what happened, like what part of the umbrella, you kind of, and it's kind of even off camera, like what even happened. <clears throat> so he was claiming that he got a traumatic brain injury. Um, he had vomiting and super tired. He did go to the ER after being home for like 24 hours. Um, cause he just still was feeling nauseous and whatnot. And they diagnosed him at the hospital with a concussion. He declined to do the, <clears throat> he declined to do the scans, um, because he didn't have health insurance. So he didn't want to do like the CT scan or the MRI or whatever. I think they do CT scan right away to see if there's active bleeding in your brain. He didn't want to do that because he couldn't afford it. And he, they basically just told him like, you got a concussion, you know, you're all right. Anyways. He does get an attorney kind of fast and they end up setting him up for his neck and his back and all that stuff. He used to play sports, not like professionally, but he always was playing sports. So I think that's probably just normal wear and tear on your body. I mean, it'll happen um, where your, you know, your back degenerates and your knees and your neck and your shoulders, all that jazz. I think I definitely did not get that. Oh, maybe I did. I'm trying to make sure I get no wrinkles. Because my hand can't go in there. Very well. There we go. There. That's in there. Um, so, this trial, he wasn't pursuing for any of the neck or back stuff. He was just pursuing for the traumatic brain injury. And they were saying, I think he was 50. He was in his mid 50s. And he was saying, like, He's going to have to go into memory care and lose his memory and everything. He was having trouble searching for words and word finding. Which I feel like that's just me. I mean, maybe I have a mild brain injury. I don't know. I might. I had a meningitis. I don't know. Who knows? It's nothing I ever checked. But I'm sticking my hand on the inside of this bag and helping this connection here. Um... He was asking the jury for like a little over $10 million for this home he was going to have to possibly live in for his brain, for his memory care and, you know, pain and suffering. Um, 
and I called it at the beginning. He was not a very good witness on the stand. Uh, he seemed very pompous and rude. And I have literally sat through hundreds of jury trials at this point in my career. I could tell you which jurors you should pick, which ones you shouldn't. I mean, I got it down pretty well. I feel like I've probably been in more trials than my judge. Um, so I told my judge, uh, there's no way that he's getting any money. And he was a bad witness, but some of his expert witnesses were really good saying about his brain and stuff. Like his, his neural, his radiologist was really good that read the CT and the MRI and everything. And he does have a spot on his brain, but he also does like MMA and kickboxing. He used to. So like he could have got that any, any place, you know? So the jury gave him nothing. <laughs> like I knew they would. My judge came in my office after and she's like, you're freaking so good at this. I'm like, man, I just seen a lot of them. They're not going to give him money. I did do a really big case once. This is where the connectors are, so it's super thick. I did do a case once um, for a tra traumatic brain injury, and that man got millions of dollars. The security officers at a casino took the man. He was being handsy with the waitress, but they took this man off camera and beat him up real bad. And he did have a traumatic brain injury, a mild one though. They have different grades of them. That's called aging it, right? And that's how we all felt. He had a jury full of older people too. I'm like, you're really gonna try this? Okay. Um, anyway, so the, the one brain injury case I did a long time ago, the security officers took this man off. The, so first of all, the casino threw away conveniently the surveillance video. So they got um, in trouble for that and they can bring that up to the jury and be like hey yeah they got rid of the evidence it probably is because it showed the security officers acting bad it's called a negative inference so they didn't have the video and um basically they had video the video that should have been where they were handling this man should have existed but it didn't but they have the video of them the security officers taking him outside this is my case for a long time ago not my one from last week so the security officers were taking him outside to a place without a camera where they conveniently lost the camera footage and they, they beat him up real bad and messed up his head well of course you know who they decided to beat up a hedge fund guy a guy that's loaded and now he can't hedge fund anymore and he's out millions hundreds of millions y'all like how do some people get these jobs where they're so rich? I have no clue. I'm like, it wasn't in the cards for me, but wow, it's amazing. He won. I knew he would too. He had a great attorney. The aggressive attorneys that are rude never won. FYI, if you ever... Anyways, it's a whole class I'm going to teach one day, I think, to the bar here, but... How to pick juries. The other one's going to be how to make a record for appeal, because... My goodness. Attorneys lack on that real bad. And I think it's just because they don't have a lot of courtroom experience in a trial. They were like, okay, look at this document here. Do you see this? And it's like, okay, well, the appellate court reading this doesn't know, one, what document what you're looking at. Two, what are we, you got to describe what you're trying to show them. You know, like, do you see this white building on the left side of the picture in exhibit 243? Like, you have to, oh, it, and it's, not natural to speak like that so one day i'm gonna teach that class to the bar for a cle okay we're coming around the bend here thanks for coming to court time court story time too unless it's like a horrendous horrendous accident and somebody like dies or something the jury is not apt to give money you know why because they sit there for like 35 dollars a day and they miss all their work at work you know some works they don't um pay you for being on jury service so you gotta 
to sit there for the $35. I mean, they can't prevent you from doing jury duty. If you're ordered by a judge to go, they have to let you be there. That's by law. So if your work's ever trying to tell you, you you're not allowed to do jury duty, that's 1,000% false. Trust and believe. Okay? Okay. I'm just trimming up these little edges here. Makes the binding nicer. Right here, this one's bad. Oh, get out of there. Okay. This corner did not attach. Let's see. Peekaboo. All the other corners did, so we're just gonna re sew this one corner. It's not attached from here to here, so. Okay, let's see. Have you read David Rosenfeld in the Tobner series? A funny story as a defense lawyer who loves and rescues dogs. It's a great series. You know what? I am go I will look it up. I love reading. You think because I read all day long for my job. I'm basically reading. I'm writing what they're saying as they're saying it, and it's translating on my computer, so I'm basically reading what they're saying as they're saying it, and my judge gets a feed of that. It's called real time. It's literally like a real time translation of what is being said. And I have to be certified and, you know, have a license, all this stuff. Like, I'm 97.5% accuracy certified for real time, but. Unless you're talking over each other. You're gonna talk over each other. I can literally only listen to one person talking at a time. Like, that's just how human brains work, okay? One at a time. You should hear me in court all day long. One at a time. Get to the microphone. One at a time. Get to the microphone. I mean, the courts where I work, the courtrooms are massive. And if you're not, even if you're right in front of my face, I have a hard time hearing without my headphone system. So you need to, like, go to the mic, you know? Any hoozle. I would do that. And I do think if I was an attorney, I would be a different attorney. 1,000%. Not that you cared to know. But <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, who knows? I could still be an attorney. Mm -hmm. Do you guys watch Big Brother? There's this lady on there. And I forget. Her name escapes me at the moment. She's so funny. And she just became like a real estate agent at 65 or something, she said. Her whole thing is like, it's never too late to do what you want. And I'm like, you're so right. You can change directions at any time in your life. Now, I wish I could just be famous for sewing and then only sew for my whole life. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start up here on the top where there's not a lot of layers, especially down here. Oh, she's thicker than a snicker. Look at that. Use woven if you have a domestic, for sure. Okay. We're just applying this. Mm -hmm. She can't, became a psychiatrist when she's in her 40s. Yeah, I mean, why not? I'm telling you. There's no rule that says once you pick something, you have to stay there. No, I'll we'll say, you know. I can't speak for other countries because I only live in America, but that is nice. You can literally do whatever you want here. We have no restrictions. You have your own limitation, pretty much, for the most part. You know, there's exceptions to everything, but that's what I tell my kids. You can literally decide to be whatever you want. And it's not like that everywhere, so... Oh. Coming around this corner. It's a nice little corner there. Mm -hmm. This stuff is super easy to install, like, whoa. I'm just like lining this up so it covers up my stitches. And because it's sticky, it'll like hopefully just always cover them. Yeah. This 
is one inch wide too. That's really all you need. I thought I would be like, oh no, I like one and a quarter, because I do. I mean, I still like one and a quarter, but thicker than a sneaker. Yep, that's what I was like. If you ever on the fence for buying white binding, mm, you know, I'd grab it. I wouldn't say no. I don't think I would have picked this out for myself if it weren't for Tammy picking it out for me, but. Like, that's so nice. There, look, boom. Okay, fold over, slide in. I know I'm not going to be able to really do it on these bottom edges because of the strap connectors, you know? That's a little bulk down there. Yeah, see, I wonder if I should even be folding down here. This is where the strap connector is. It does help to fold a little though for that um, rippling in the corners. So I think if Lauren were here to give awards, I would be slowest, slowest. <gasps> oh, I love alliteration. It just makes me like. It's a pretty thick seam down here. I'm probably going to have to end up doing these bottom corners a double stitch line. to get my kindle you know what i'll do i'll do one of those videos i do on instagram where i'm like what can fit in this bag it's my new series inspired by rochelle yes can me because it is nice to see you know you can say 11 by 11 by 5 and you're like okay that's nice generally i see but can you fit an entire stanley cup in there Pair of scissors. We all have scissors. A cone of thread. I'm gonna say this can fit a lot of thread. You're curious how big it is? Yeah. I'll show you on me, even though I'm like embarrassing the clothes I'm wearing or like 35 years old, I swear, but <clears throat> I'll show you on me too. I'm five, seven-ish and 175. I'm really 177. I just was being generous with myself. <laughs> Okay, this is at a four and a half stitch size. Remember, this affects the shape of your bag, so be careful, bestie. Okay, this right here is the connector. It's thick. We better be prepared with our jumper just in case. She's like, I'm struggling. She's coming. 
I'm so tired. If I could give you a treat, I would. I don't know what you want. I might eat a lemon cake. Oh, you're tiny. You're five foot. Yeah, I know. I need some stretches. Um, five foot tall. Yeah, you're, you're, you're smaller than me, for sure. This is probably a very good size on you. Maybe? trying to gently push the panel. She's she's hesitating. I know she's going to be crazy. At least the air conditioner is running in here and it feels wonderful. Okay. Oh, she just kind of flew out there. <laughs> oh. So I don't think I'm going to catch all of this. I'm just trying to make sure. It's okay if I don't catch all of the uh, binding. I just want to make sure the seam allowance stays consistent. I can go back and catch the binding in a second stitch if I need to. So we're going to have to turn this out and make sure we don't have any stitches showing. You know? Man, it would be nice. It would be kind of nice to be five foot tall, just for the fact of like I wouldn't have to bend over so much of the sewing machine. raw from pulling my wheel. <laughs> okay, enough complaining. Because it's worth it for this cutie. Er, there we go. Oh, you know what? We're coming up on the, uh, on the connectors. That's what's going on here. I mean, this machine, if you are on the fence about it, can you not say that it's probably worth it? With all these layers we just went through today. That's quite amazing. I'm impressed. And I've had this machine for years. <laughs> My fingers keep slopping up on me. There we go. talking hello four foot eight five three no you're right so monster I don't have a step stool I think each maybe has its advantages oh she did not I love that my, my needle is getting dull lots of sewing I mean three bobbins work that's a lot cylinder arm too. You know what? I thought it would, to be honest with you, but it's not really. Not more than anything else than using double stick tape, really. It, and it hasn't affected my stitches or anything. I haven't even cleaned it once. I just rubbed my finger on it at one point. Yeah, I thought it would be a problem, but it's 1000% not. Okay, here we go. Finger 
fingers crossed we have no stitches showing. I'm thinking we might have some in the corners here. Oh, I can't tell. I can't see. Mm, I think we're just going to double do the corners just to make sure so I don't have to freaking turn this in and out again. Because, you know, deck a little heavy. Sorry. Okay. Okay, that's good. for sure these stitches are would have shown on this one. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, get some of that binding paper. That's in there. I think I'm gonna get some too. I need lavender. Alright, we're gonna do this corner too just because it kind of goes up right here and I feel like mm, you're probably showing me stitches right there. For sure. a couple of basting stitches I'm gonna be really sad but if it showed anywhere that's where it would show so I think we're good oh I'm, I need to stretch I'm gonna drink after this just kidding I don't want to drink okay I'm gonna move you so that you're facing the other way and I can plug you in so you don't die one sec We're gonna do the big um, Can I? my phone dies so quickly now. Ooh, don't zoom in on me. to do this first. And by the way, oh, the stitches are showing a smidge right here. But it fits in folder slash notebook. Not an eight and a half by eleven. I don't change it. 
Maybe the other ones? I'll pull some notebooks out here in a sec. Yeah, close that. Okay, there we go. Oh, that looks better. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Now, I want this stuff out. Okay. Oh, this is always so hard, isn't it? Thank goodness it's foam. Only my bottom is really the issue. I better start my mini cricket iron. There we go. Ugh. Oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was good. I'm glad I redid those corners because that was an issue. I could redo right here. I'll do that off camera. I got two spots that kind of need a little bit more attention. Um, this is amazing. It turned out really good. I'm going to pinch my seams here. Oh, there we go. That popped that right out, didn't it? adventure. Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> Keep rubbing it in with the fancy foam. That is more than I thought to. So I bet you the regular size, the large one, will be normal sized. You're going to have some fancy foam too, Ashley. Don't you worry. We're going to get you some. So what I will say is don't skip on an interfacing for the zipper panel next time. It's not bad, but I'd like it to match the rest of the bag. Um, but there you have it. That's freaking cute. That ain't bad for the first go. So add a small strip of foam on these for sure. No, this is not a medium. She called it medium? But it's pretty, like, big. It's, it's deeper, for sure. I'm trying to find something that we all know. How about thread? Where's thread? Here's one of those, like, smaller notebooks. Or, you know, it might fit a normal size notebook. I don't have one. I just have these smaller ones. How about an 18-inch 18, 18 roll of vinyl? How about that? That'll give, give you a good idea how deep it is. Oh, anything that's probably about you know, 11, 12 inches. For sure. Slide so you can see. Yeah, put some foam in this in this. Just you don't need it, but it just makes it'll make it match the rest. Yeah. Would I put the foam out of the seam allowance on the gusset? On the zipper gusset? I would. I just, I, I'm pretty sure her pattern piece has it that way too. Let's see. Yeah, see? She has it out of the. So you can print two of those and then just cut it. Cut one for the seam allowance. But I would add that 
That's pretty damn cute. Okay, I'm gonna finish the straps. And then I'm done. I'm not doing no more. I think I'm doing so much good. I'm trying to find that. It's so chubby. It is, right? And you can add like a little a little thing here if you wanted. Honestly, it doesn't really need it though. No. Yeah, she's chunky. I love her. Okay, I'm gonna um so this is what I do. I had actually someone ask me how I get wrinkles out of my bags, like if I did use Decalo White. I use this little mini iron from Cricut. And I just put it on the inside of the bag and I just push with my hands. So I'm just gonna iron down here real quick. You could also put like a tea towel double folded and lay it on top of a vinyl if you had to. But in my opinion, just this is good. And this little iron fits in here nicely. You can't do this on tiny bags, obviously, but... There you go. Okay. She's ironed. We're going to finish these straps. I'm going to zoom you over to the... Uh, also, look at this. How perfect is this tassel on here? It's like a little lock. Oh, stop. That's cute. Okay. You could totally make this a convertible bag, too. This thing is really cool. This thing adds for a nice convertible. Add a little circle ring right here. There's even room for it to stand straight up, you know? That's nice. You could make it, like, you know, a crossbody strap. I'm impressed with myself. Okay. Let's do the straps and we'll be done. Okay, so we have these components right now. What we're going to do is take this slide. What are they called? Triglides, maybe? I can't think of the name. And you are going to slide this around your bar, okay? Through your rectangle ring. Back through over your bar. No, under your bar the opposite way like this. So it'll be like that. Does that make sense? And then this is going to fold over like this. You're going to be, you can rivet this on. That's what we're going to do. We're going to rivet. And then this is an adjustable strap like that. Okay. Let me make sure and see if the length, how's that for length? I think that's good. So we're going to have to rivet this on to here. You could sew it too. Maybe we'll sew it. Take a little nap bag. if you can. You could also just rivet this, but I am just stitching it because I'm being lazy about a rivet. Okay, 
one strap is done. Go ahead and cut that. And we're going to singe our loose ends. Turn it down, please. There you go, one's done. Maxwell. One second. Okay. Turn it down. Thank you. I hate the blank game, you know? Jeez. Where's my other red tape? My slider, here it is. So we're going to repeat what we did over the bar, over the loop, we folded this over about this one. I'm trying to make it even, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. Now we can sew this. I'm just gonna pull a little extra here. Do one more line of stitching next to this one, and then we're totally done. Then I'll put it on for you if you want to see it on my body. Put you back over here. Okay. Try sliders. That would be a good lunchbox too. Yeah. Kind of big, but I guess it depends what you're eating. Okay. Let's see if these straps are long enough. There you are. Man, I love it when a plan comes together, you know? Okay. Well, I pretty much tightened, or tightened too much over here in my arm. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I just shrugged you too well. Yeah, it was my kids. Okay. So you can see, very comfy on the straps. We definitely got that good. 
It might be nice to have some kind of tie for these, to hold these together. Maybe just a little snap with vinyl right here. Yeah, go anywhere. That'd be nice. Not necessary, but it would be cute, wouldn't it? Where am I? Let's see if I can get I have really long arms. Let's see if I can get this on there. I'm just going to put this little tassel right there. Yeah, I'm going to make a little snap piece for that. Honestly, I'll probably just use this um, round strap camo tool would be enough. Just cut this out of it and then attach it to that. That's cute. I love this. This is fun. Well, there you have it. We're done. That's nice. That's fun. The one inch um, straps are not uncomfortable. I thought they would be, to be honest with you, but I thought, just give it a try. So, thanks for hanging out with me for half the day, okay? I appreciate you. If you don't have nothing else, I'm going to go take pictures. I'm gonna make a little snap thing here first. All right. Any questions? There you have it, folks. Oh, let me let you see the inside real quick. I didn't show you that. So here is the. Nice and really. We got a slip pocket here, but it's nice and really in there. Looks so cute too. Hey, that's it for me.